Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. How are you all today? I am so excited to see everyone. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long. <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone, or happy holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. Oh my gosh, guys, so excited to be back near my recording equipment. So excited to be back here with all of you. Uh, it's going to be amazing, even though it's raining on the server and super dark. Uh, really excited to be back and seeing all of you guys. <laughs> uh, Sushi Plays, yes, hello. Oh my goodness, so many people, hi. So excited to see you all. Trolley, thank you so, so much for the donation. Oh my gosh, first dono of the stream. Thank you so much, Trolley, very appreciated. Oh, heck. All right. I think I do actually need to put my crown back on if we're going to actually go out and do anything. Uh, that was the wrong button entirely. There we go. Unfortunately, my Santa hat skin doesn't let the griffins respect me. I feel like it should act like a gold crown for at least for Christmas anyway, so that you can ride your griffins around with uh, being merry. Uh, Bo, thank you so much for the for the donation. He says... Man, that's a, sick, a scared Santa. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's awesome. It's a very lava-like Santa. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Feral Thunder says, I got to try out PC Arc today because I got Extinction for Christmas. Congrats. That is awesome. Extinction is absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoy. Uh, to Potato Dragon says, I challenge you to a Redwood Treehouse platform building battle. Ooh, that would actually be really fun. Uh, maybe not in this stream, because that's actually really hard, and I don't even think I have the mats for that unless I use the God Console. There's a bug after me. And now there's not. Um, Rio says, what will you do? Actually, I kind of wanted to leave that up to the chat. So there's a lot of options today. We could go out taming. The Equus update did drop last week, and I've not released any content on that update at all. So definitely an option to go out and try to do some Equus taming. Uh, we could also hop on to some other servers as well if people wanted to see me play on like the community servers or possibly even PC Arc. <laughs> uh, Equus breeding? Okay, we'll have to like definitely tame some Equus then. Tame a Megaloceros army, go around killing things. Phantom Spirit, that's actually a pretty good idea, too. Alright, if we are going to do some Equus taming, definitely going to need to get some things. Let me see, let me take stock here and see what I've got. I've got one Soothing Bomb, and I know I have more. I'm going to drop all that meat, because I don't need it. It's just going to weigh us down. Alright, uh, I should have more Soothing Bombs somewhere. And if I don't, I can always get a couple more. I feel like I had more. I feel like I had way more soothing bombs, but I get very mixed up now because I'm very disorganized. Um, Cybernova says I can't find a single Equus on my server. There is a pursuit for it. Uh, I'm actually going to go grab some carrots so that we can go and do some Equus taming. Uh, our farm is over here at Mental's little outpost. Uh, still getting to grips with PC Arc controls. So many things to memorize. Oh yeah, it's it's crazy. PC Arc has a lot of keybinds, uh, which actually makes the game easier after a while. But it does take some time to get used to. Uh, Ghost, yes, I absolutely can. Check my Discord messages after the stream. And welcome, by the way. Jabron says hi. Hello, Jabron. Welcome. Let's see. I'm actually gonna steal some out of the fridge. I hope Mental's not watching me steal all of his veggies here for horse taming. We're going to take two stacks. Should be plenty. And uh, Barfyrik's trying to walk away on me, but it won't work. Alright, best way to find an Equus is definitely to use the Pursuit. Um, there it is. So if there is one on the map, uh, this will definitely be the way to do it. And it wants me to equip carrots on my hot bar, which is silly. But there we go. Alright, now it should point me in the direction of an equus if there is in fact an equus on the map. 
So I typically find them over here by Smuggler's Pass. Ahmed, what is my server name? My server name is called Toast Kingdom. Uh, it is a private server, however, so you will not be able to join without the password unless you become a patron, basically. Um, but I do have two free fan servers available for play if you are interested in joining a free server to play. And we might hop on those later. It kind of depends on what the chat wants us to do. Oh my gosh, Mike. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Mike, for that uh, super chat. He says, because Christmas, also you're awesome and your videos helped me out when I couldn't figure out the minor differences between mobile and PC arc. Thank you so much, Mike. Merry Christmas. That is super appreciated, guys. Please do thank Mike for me in the chat if you would. Heck, that's a big donation. And Golden Ash, thank you as well for the super chat. He says, hi, hi, Golden Ash. I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right. I'm going to fly through this area and see if this is going to point me in the direction of an equus because that would be amazing. Um... Cedar says, I'm waiting for the day when, like, the whole chat is a moderator because your subscribers are loyal. You never know. It might happen. I do tend to make people mods if they've been around for a while and are generally, like, really nice people who are willing to answer questions. So it could happen. The Kings, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Oh, my goodness, guys. It's like a string of donations here. Uh, didn't miss much. We are just starting to fly around. Looking for a few equus. Uh, hopefully we find some today. I would really like to tame a male. I do actually have a female equus sitting around at one of my bases uh, that I was able to tame off cam while I was away. It was very difficult, but I managed. Um, and oh my gosh, Golden Ash says, <laughs> yeah, what did I miss? Thank you again, by the way, Golden Ash, for the uh, super chat. Um, oh my gosh, and then... F uh, what is that? Feli or Feli? Chia, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Heck, guys, so many donations. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh. Please, guys, be sure to thank everyone who's being awesome today in, in the chat. That is so amazing. So happy to see you all. Uh, Big Macer Boy, your girlfriend said yes, congrats. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get married. Ah, that's crazy. So much good news going on today. Whoop, I'm running into walls because I'm so excited by the chat. Heck. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a sweep of the north shore of the Redwoods. Hopefully we find an equus. Oh, my goodness. Um, Jason, thank you so, so much for this super chat. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Jason. Big shout out to everyone who is donating today. You guys are amazing. I was just on for a chill stream on Christmas to hang out with some of my favorite people. And everyone's showing, like, so much love and support. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. <sighs> oh my gosh, so many people here in the chat. Um, King says, Iguana, do you remember me? Yes, Kings, I do absolutely remember you. You have appeared in many of the chats. Oh, please let there be some equus on the map today. That would just be perfect. I wish they were a more common spawn, guys. I really do, because they're actually quite rare. Uh, unknowns. Yes, I remember you, of course. Uh, equus is rarer than Quetzal, Giga, Titan, and Moza. Yeah, Philly. Especially at first, they really feel like they can be. Um, they are an uncommon spawn, so... It can be very difficult to find them. Uh, luckily, that's why they put in this pursuit. I actually might not even try to finish this pursuit. I might turn it off once we find an Equus. Uh, mostly because I want to be able to find Equus in the future really quickly, and this pursuit's going to be super helpful for that. So until I get some good Equus saved up on here, um, might might keep this pursuit in in my bank here just for usefulness terms. Um, Tiger Kid says, how do we join the server? This is a Patreon-only server, so you will have to join the Patreon if you want to be on this particular server, but I do have two free fan servers. Uh, you can just go to the unofficial servers list of Arc Mobile's app and then search up Iguana. There should be three servers that pop up, um, one of which is 
a PVX server that I share with Rutrain, and two are servers that I host personally. Those are a PVE and a PVP server. And you can join whichever one you like. Uh, do I remember at least uh, 200 subscribers? I remember 200 subscribers. That was crazy. That felt like so many at the time. I remember when I had like 300 and I was still just like staring at my phone every hour and so excited whenever I got a new sub. I still get really excited whenever I get new subs. <laughs> and I feel like I see Rutrine in the stream lurking. Thank you so much, Rutrine, for moderating. Very appreciated. Uh, Pursuit gives you the Equa Saddle. Oh, cool. Yeah, we definitely don't need to finish the Pursuit then. I have got plenty. Uh, let's, like, fly through the south a little bit. Sometimes they're in the south. I have a lot more luck finding them over on the east side of the map, over by the Green Obelisk. That river area is really good. Uh, Lightning King, welcome. He says, if you don't find one, I have one and a unicorn on PvP. I actually have an Aquas and a unicorn already. Uh, stay tuned for the unicorn taming video that will be coming out in the next couple of days here. Probably tomorrow, actually. Uh, so much going on, really. Big shout out to Atag who uh, trapped a unicorn for me so that I could make a video about it. Yeah, it's going to be good. I, I could barely record it, but I did manage to get some footage, so I should be able to get a pretty decent unicorn taming video up, hopefully soon. All right, I don't think there are any equus on the map right now, guys. We might have to kill some things to make room. Yeah, I definitely am not getting any indications that they are around. Hmm... All right, this is a pretty good spawn area, so if I take down a few things over here, we might be all right. Uh, random guy says, wait, is there unicorn in mobile? Yes, there absolutely are unicorns. They are fantastic. Only one spawns on the map at a time, but they are beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Wardrum did some really cool stuff with the unicorn. They gave them this, like, really long jump, and it's actually a like rainbow jump so every time you jump like you get this big rainbow trail and it's a really really long jump compared to the normal jumps so it's really cool um i'm super excited about what they did with the uh with the unicorns uh let's see here rampant carno says i'm looking for a pego mast hacks right now on your switch oof pegos they're the worst they are the absolute worst I actually am excited. I did recently acquire a Switch, and then I actually, while I was away for the holidays, I actually did get myself a copy of Ark on Switch, so I'm really excited to try that out once I get a capture card, which actually should be very soon here. Um, me and my dog, awesome. Are they on single player? Yeah, unicorns are on single player for sure. I haven't seen one myself, but... um. I was lurking on the Arc Mobile Discord, their official Discord that all the, like, official war drummers are on, and they're definitely on single player. Um, Tiger Kid says, how do I join if I play on PS4? Uh, if you play on PS4, there's no crossplay between mobile and other platforms, but if you do have a smartphone, you can definitely download Arc Mobile and play that way. All right, nothing yet. Man, equus are so rare, it's painful, guys. <laughs> Let's see if I can find one here. Hopefully we find one. I am also open to uh, going to other maps and seeing what we can find on those as well. Or just hanging out with the community, because the community is amazing. All right, gonna have to go up towards Smuggler's Pass again. Hopefully... Hopefully we find an Equus this stream. Uh, <laughs> Rutrine says, if you want Nintendo Online, I have the family plan. Rutrine, that might be a great thing to do, for sure. We'll have to talk about that. Oh my goodness. If you guys have not already, you should definitely check out Rutrine's channel. She's an awesome YouTuber, another Arc Mobile partner, and super crazy, amazing person. So you guys should definitely check out her channel if you would uh, like to do that. All right, still nothing. I'm super sad. There's, like, no Equus on the map at all, guys. Uh, 
Let's see here. Is Mental's pick on Discord him? Uh, I think it was. At least a while ago, it was. I'm not sure what it is now. Uh, Maximum Levels says hi and Merry Christmas. Hello and Merry Christmas. AV Spa says the new update ruined the performance on your iPhone 8. Hopefully it'll be fixed in the next one. Yeah, I did actually have some crash issues myself uh, recently. And yeah, the update was rough on the iOS devices. And I, I'm not sure why the game was crashing. It definitely was. But I feel like they're definitely going to fix it because they... Like, the next day they released a hotfix, and um, that didn't really solve all of the issues, but it did apparently help out some iPad users. So I feel like they're on top of it. They just had to uh, leave for the holidays. So it'll probably be fixed in the next few days, I would think. Once, uh, once the holidays are over and everybody's back, I think they'll be working on that. <sighs> uh, if I donate, can you give you a griffin? Uh... You'll pay a hundred dollars, no joke. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want you to, since it's hard to tame. Uh, Hawk, if you were on the Patreon server, I actually do have like ten or twelve Griffin eggs um, already created, and I mean, I don't typically sell them for donations, but I'm happy to give a Griffin to somebody who needs one. Um. You found six equus near the green obelisk. Took forever to find. Yeah, it takes them forever to spawn in is the biggest issue. You, like, have to clear out a lot of the spawns. I usually find them right here in this area. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Unfortunately, that does mean you usually have to go around um, taking out a lot of other creatures so that you can encourage the other spawns to come in like the equus. Uh, look for Equus just north of the Red Obelisk. That's where you found yours. Awesome. We can definitely fly over there once we clear out some of this area to encourage some respawning. Uh, Darkstar says, I wish I could donate, but my family is poor. No worries, Darkstar. You are totally okay. Just, like, watching the stream and hitting that like button helps me out so, so much you would not even believe. Donations are entirely voluntary. They are appreciated, but... Seriously, guys, I appreciate likes and subs just as much. <laughs> uh, Retreen says, unclaiming griffins makes them wild, but I have eggs, so I could give someone an egg. That would work just as well. Uh, and then they can claim the baby. That's how that works. If they have the right level, of course. All right, look at the map. I would look at the map if I wasn't bugging out right now. <laughs> Uh, Wandering Vogelgler says, I love this channel. Thank you so much, Wandering. Uh, very appreciated. Yep, definitely bugged out, guys. This happens whenever I fly around too much. Can we not? Okay. Looks like we may have to re-log here. I'm gonna Just give that a try. Just in slow mode, uh, the river west of the hunter usually has lots of equus. Oh, Okay. Uh, river west of that has Equus. Yes, that is true. It usually does. Um, actually, I'm going to have to relog. Guys, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, that actually is one of my moderators there in the chat with me. It is lightning. Um, okay. Right. Relogging so that this will stop happening, whatever this is. Hate when my screen gets frozen. Um... Pixie says, but the babies need to be near the parents. Yes, Pixie, they do need to be near the parents, but uh, they can definitely keep those babies near my griffins until they're grown up. On my server, that's only about 10 days. And because I'm allies with basically everybody on this server, um, I can actually feed other people's creatures because it's PvP, so I can access their inventories. Uh, so if they claimed the baby, I could basically raise it for them, and then they could, uh, come and get it when they were ready. Alright, let's see here. Oop, uh, one second. Okay. So, we are back! Finally! <laughs> Excited. Very excited to be back and very terrified that there is a Theri right there. Ivan, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Welcome, Ivan, to the stream. Oh my gosh, hello. Alright, where? Nope. 
I see nothing on my map. There are no equus on this server right now. There might be a unicorn somewhere. It would be cool if we could find that, but the unicorn can spawn pretty much anywhere. Oh no, that view is no good. There we go. Much better. Alright, and lots of new creatures in the area, so we might have to take a few of these out to encourage respawns. We'll attack all the things that want to attack us. Um, Arc Mobile should add sheep and snow owls. Ooh, that would be really cool. I, I would like to see the sheep. The snow owls are an extinction-specific creature, so I'm not sure how well they would work on mobile. I would like to see them. I'd especially love to see, like, a shoulder pet version. I think that would be amazing. Little snow owl that flies around with you would be really cool. All right, we're going to clear out some more spawns here. Um, Case and hello. Welcome. Uh, Vuoi Nguyen says, a unicorn was added with the Equus? Yes, it absolutely was, and they are so amazing. I actually do have a unicorn if you guys would like to see it on the stream here today. I was going to try to tame an Equus, but we're not having any luck finding one at the moment. So, just to keep you guys briefly entertained, we might actually go over there and check out the unicorn that I already have, just so you guys can get a good look at it. Kind of a preview, because I do have a video of uh, taming it, actually, that should be coming out, hopefully tomorrow, if I get everything together. Ugh. Ugh. The lag is so much worse on iOS after the update. Whoa. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> I trust that the team will fix it, I really do. There we go. Perfect. See here. Looks like everything is kind of frozen. There we go. <laughs> Stream ended. Uh, oh my goodness. Everything kind of broke. Heck, okay. It's catching up, guys. It is catching up. One second here. I'm fixing everything. It will work, I promise. There we go. Alright. There we go. We are back. I think we are back, guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Not offline. Totally not offline. Don't know what happened. There was a hiccup there in the stream. Um, Julie, I did see that super chat. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. Very appreciated and Merry Christmas to you as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yes, everyone, stay calm. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, as I was saying, this is our this is our beautiful unicorn, guys. It's amazing. It's huge, actually. It's much bigger than the normal equus, and it has this beautiful rainbow jump that just makes me so so happy. I basically just want to jump all day with this uh, awesome unicorn around. Look at that. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so, so good. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Jigsovi says, oh, it's so majestic. Yes, it definitely is. To Potato Dragon says, eat the poop. I already have. It's great. I love what the poop does to us. Uh, Silver Studio says, sing for us. Maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> Rob Buff says, it's majestic. What's its name? Um, I have named this one Rainbow temporarily, but I actually am going to be releasing a video on the actual tame I did of this guy, probably tomorrow, and then from there, I'm giving everyone an opportunity to suggest names, because I think Rainbow's an okay name, but we need a better name for sure. Oh yeah, and they drop Unicorn Residue instead of, like, regular poop, which is basically just a super rainbow-colored poop, and if you eat it, because supposedly it's delicious. You get this really psychedelic effect, which is kind of amazing. Uh, but it does last quite a while, so that can be kind of an issue. Yeah, kind of amazing, but unicorn is the best thing ever. Uh, Mohammed Ali says, near Lava Cave, look there. Yes, we definitely will check that area out as well. Um, unfortunately, right now, my map is showing basically that there are no equus on the map at all at the moment. So... It's kind of a kind of a wait and see kind of situation here. I might actually 
come in here and show you guys. I do actually have an Equus tamed up as well. Uh, this girl right here. Tamed her up offline. Oh no! My pursuit finished! That's so annoying! <laughs> Why? It should only do it when I actually, like, fresh tame one. I didn't mean to finish that pursuit. Now I'm upset because now I'll never be able to find one again. Um, but we do have an Equus. It's a cute little female. Well, now we have an Ascendant Equus saddle for her. She can ride. Uh, have. We can ride. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I love it. So you can see the unicorn is actually a lot bigger than the cute little Equus that we have. So this is the one I currently have. It is a little weird in the psychedelic screen, but uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> is unicorn poop drugs? It is a little bit drugs, I do think. Uh, it makes your screen go really, really weird. So that is a thing. There we go. It wears off after a while, but it takes a long time. And in the meantime, it's going to be a little bit difficult to, uh, ugh, a little bit difficult to kind of see around. Oh man, everything looks really weird this way. I'm surprised it doesn't crash me more than it does. Uh, could definitely be a problem. I'm super upset that I finished that Equus Pursuit. I did not mean to. Now I'm going to have a lot harder time uh, actually going through and finding an Equus. Oh my goodness. That's alright though. Uh, we can definitely keep looking, guys. Um... George says, do they fly too? Um, only, the unicorn doesn't fly, but it does like this really crazy jump. It's really, really long compared to the other jumps. So that is something to be on the lookout for. It's not exactly flying, but it does get you over like really tall rocks. Uh, does Equus do torpor damage? Boon, yes they do. Uh, if they buck, which is like one of their alt attacks... They can do a lot of torpor damage, and they can knock creatures out very quickly. They're actually a very useful taming mount for that reason. Because they do um, a lot of torpor, but not too much damage with their buck attack. Alright. They actually don't do too much damage in general. There we go. Kind of clear out some of the creatures in the area. Hopefully we'll encourage respawns. And then maybe eventually we'll see an equus here. The psychedelic screen is starting to get to me. Oh, it takes forever to go away. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's kill this Diplo. We don't need it either. It's taking up some spots. Uh, Feral Thunder says, I found my Equus just north of the Red Obelisk. Try there. Also, I found a, uni called Mo uh, a unicorn called Maramdal. Also, please see this. Yes, I did, Feral Thunder. And yeah, that is awesome. I think mine was called Lubadolf when I tamed him. And then you can rename unicorns, guys. That is cool. They do let you rename unicorns, unlike griffins. Uh, here we go. Almost. There we go. Diplos, in the way. Okay. Hope that makes some equus respawn, but we will see. Uh... Hey, bye, Nacho. Thank you so much for coming out and popping in today. Uh, TN Kaushik, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry, Bun. Yes, I think I did say Boon. Oh, my goodness. Heck. My words. Man, I, like, get all... I forget how to stream after I haven't done it for a week. I swear, guys. It's the weirdest thing. All right, Raptor, we'll ignore that for now. All right, we'll sweep the north coast of the Redwoods, and then we'll go down and check uh, just north of the Red Obelisk. If we don't find an Equus in that area, we will have to, um, I guess we'll have to just be sad that we can't find an Equus to tame. Uh, but we do have one to ride around on, if we, if we so desire. Oh, finally. That was starting to really, like, trip me out, so this is way better. I like this uh, normal screen business. All right, we got some aloes. Not a big deal. Um, hey, Sam, how's it going? And Max Cali, hello. Far says, hey, hello, or fur. Are they going to add S-plus structure? Uh, I don't think they will to the mobile game, 
because they already have some elements of S+, plus, like they gave tree platform snap points, and they have a 30 second undo button, uh, which is pretty amazing and very useful. I do love that so, so much. Oh my gosh, if we found a unicorn on stream today, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely incredible. I would, I would freak out a little bit if we found a unicorn today. Not gonna lie. I would probably use an herbivore pheromone uh, if we found a female unicorn and do some unicorn breeding on stream. Because I'm in love with unicorns. They are amazing. I need a whole little collection of them. Big herd. Uh, play Roblox one day. I might actually check it out. A lot of people have said that is a really good one. Might check that out at some point. Okay, still not seeing any equus. They're actually a pretty small creature compared to some of the other animals around. We could also tame some Megaloceros, uh, since those are pretty great little Christmas creatures, since they are kind of reindeer. Kind of reindeer. Um, only one unicorn per server? Yeah, Cedar, only one per server per time. So you can get a whole bunch of unicorns, you just have to wait between tames. I think on PC you only have to wait like an hour after taming one, and then another one will appear. Uh, Wyatt, thank you so, so much for the super chat. That is very appreciated. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much, Wyatt. Uh, and Wild Wolf 101 thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. I do hope you are enjoying today. We are having a heck of a lot of fun out here on our little Christmas stream. Uh, what did I get for Christmas? Uh, thank you for asking, Fierce Wolf. Actually, for Christmas, and this may shock some people, I did get a lot of toast. <laughs> um, I did get some toast, and I got some really, really good coffee. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of, uh, I think it's called, like, the Death Wish Coffee Company, but I got the world's strongest coffee in terms of caffeine content, and I'm very, very happy and excited about it. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I cannot wait to try it. Um, yeah, good stuff. Not a whole lot that I got. I did get a few scarves as well because I do love my scarves. But, uh, yeah, it was a really good Christmas. I was more excited by all the gifts I gave other people. That's a level 105 Quetzal. It's bright red. It's pretty. It's a very Christmassy Quetzal. All right, we're going to fly down this way. Keep looking for an Equus. Uh, Barrel Racer says, I love your videos and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Barrel Racer. Oh my gosh, Merry Christmas to you as well. <laughs> Silver Stunia says, no Roblox, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Oh my gosh. People are pretty torn about the content. I do, in plan to play, ah, I do intend to play Atlas very soon. I'm actually downloading it on the computer right now. Um, so if you guys do want to see me play some Atlas, which I hear is very buggy, I've not watched any gameplay content of it yet, um, but I am very excited. That is coming to the channel one way or the other, so we might be able to do that very soon as well. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they do with Atlas and to hopefully see if it's any good. My dog is sneezing in the background. It's kind of adorable. All right, let's come up here. I don't see any equus. I do not see a single equus. Sad day. Big sad day. Just a bunch of turtles and things. That's a packy. Pretty sure that's a packy. Or a parasaur. No, that's a packy. Oh my gosh. My size is all off now. Um... <laughs> Jack says, I'm sad. Iguana can't read some of the chat. I am sad, too. I can only read so much. Uh, but I really do like reading what I can. And I actually sometimes watch back parts of the streams to, like, see what I missed. Uh, just so that I can recognize more of the names. Because I really do like to know everybody who's on the streams as much as possible. Especially when they're regulars. It's kind of a big deal. All right. Not seeing any equus here, guys. We may have to... Uh, cruise on over to the lava cave area and see what we can find there. There is a pretty big base here. I believe this is Cali Girl's base. Look at this cool little like star shape thing she's got going on. I have no idea how she built this, but it's amazing and I can't wait to see whatever it is finished. It's going to be awesome. 
Um, <laughs> can you name one of your creatures Mr. Pretzel Nugget after me? Uh, possibly. That might be a thing we could do. Uh, Iguana, do you have an aloe? Aloes are my favorite. If you please show me. Yes, I actually have a set of aloes because I am trying to do some aloe breeding on this server. So I do have five aloes right now. They're all pretty much carbon copies of each other. One male and four females. And I'm using them to generate a lot of eggs. Uh, yeah, we could definitely go back by there and show it off. We might take the unicorn out for a spin or something if we're having that much trouble finding a good equus. We'll probably have to relog again, though, because I usually have to relog after I've been flying around for a while because uh, my character starts to bug out and doesn't want to pull out weapons or uh, load areas in or anything. Gets a little frustrating. Where do Ika spawn? Uh, Isabel, you can actually Google search um, how where the Ika spawn. I'm actually looking for them right now, so I can kind of walk you through it. Basically, north part of the Redwoods is a good area to find them. Um, down by the Lava Cave, and then if you follow the river up the east side towards the Green Obelisk, that is a very good area as well. So I actually find a lot in Smuggler's Pass, uh, if you guys know where that is. Obi Evans, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic holiday season here. And that you're enjoying the stream. Um, Barul. Barul. Alam. Hello. Welcome. Trying so hard to pronounce the names, guys. It's a little bit difficult. I want to do a good job. I really do. Alright, it's getting a little bit dark here getting quite dark here. Alright, Equus do sometimes spawn on this coast, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I would hope we would find one, but could be my luck here. So let's see if we can turn on bright night so we can actually see. Continue streaming. No major interruptions. Uh, bye, AV Spa. Thanks so much for coming out today. And Francisco Pina, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. So excited to see you here today. Oh my goodness. All the new people, welcome so, so much. So excited to see you all. Okay. Uh, looks like someone lives here because that's a pink wolf and that's a saddled aloe. But I don't see any equus. Uh, Isabel says, Iguana, you're fam. Oh, thank you so much, Isabel. Very appreciated. Um, Lil J says, I just bought the iron skillet. Is it truly worth it? Lil J, I love the iron skillet. I actually just released a video where I took the iron skillet into the ice cave. Um, and it makes soloing the ice cave a heck of a lot easier uh, because you can just one hit knock out those dire wolves. So if you go in with something with a lot of uh, health, it's really easy to knock out all the wolves and then everything else. It's still hard, but it's a lot easier to solo if you do that. I think the Iron Skillet is really fun. And it also does knock out players, I believe, in three hits. So it's also really fun in PvP. Super like that. Uh, Asta Sama says, what's the Equus class? I have two different class, Swift and Maiden. I want to know what is it. Um, so I think what those classes are, and now I'm not exactly sure, but this is my intuition... I think those classes act as another stat that affect how your regular stats are used. So, in this case, something like Stamina Drain could be affected um, by those classes. So, if you have, say, a horse that has Swift, um, I think Swift is probably better than Equus because Swift is usually a good thing. So, if you have a Swift horse, I think it would have... Um, probably less stamina drain so more stamina essentially your stamina would last longer and probably something to do with speed as well like it might increase the base speed of the horse and then on top of that um it might have something to do with the food as well but that's basically my thought there is that it would affect how those stats are used and we crashed <laughs> figures all right enjoy that picture of my dog wearing my headphones there <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, Afet says, one of my equus is a lazy equus. Uh, is it particularly slow? Lazy? I've not heard of that one before. That must be crazy. 
Um, let's see here. One of my, uh, when will they add the wyvern? I actually don't know when they'll add the wyvern. I really hope that they add it, like, when they add a new map, but I think that will largely depend on what type of map they add. So that could be a thing as well. All right, let me just log in here real quick so I can get back on the bright night, and we're back. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay, we're back. We're live. Everything's still here. We're still live. We weren't attacked while we crashed. It's all good. Still not seeing any equus, which is a big bummer, but they do tend to spawn um, along this river pretty commonly. The only problem is, is a lot of bad things spawn along this river, so uh, definitely worth flying up and down here and keeping an eye out just in case you see something good. And on PC, I have found unicorns um, in this kind of valley area, although unicorns can spawn literally anywhere on the map. <laughs> uh, let's see. Reite, hello, welcome, and Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness. Rio says, do I know about the Equus Power thing? A little bit. I was just actually explaining that. Um, so the Equus Power, I, I have some theories that it might affect the way that other um, stat points are used. So for instance, it would maybe make stamina drain slower if you had a better stat. Um, if you had like a lazy horse, I imagine that would make stamina drain really, really fast and probably affect like base movement speed. I imagine it would be hard to get that horse to run if it was lazy. Those are just kind of my ideas. Um, just off the top of my head, that's what I would have done. So I'm not sure that that's actually what the devs did, but I feel like that's probably what it does is affect other stats. Um... Let's see, do I know when they will or if they will add the Thyla? I do not know. I I do know that the Thyla is one of the most highly requested creatures on Arc Mobile. I do not know if or when they will add it because the Thyla's climbing ability is game-breaking, or it could be. Just like a raptor pounce um, and the Capro like mouth grab used to crash games a lot. Like It used to crash every single time it grabs somebody, especially back in the beta. And so I feel like adding the Thyla would take a lot of time and effort, and I'm not sure that they are ready to do that just yet. Uh, that's a Dimorphodon. Somebody's Quetzal. Not, not thinking I'm seeing uh, a good Equus here. Super sad. This is where I normally find them, guys. And by the way, Emma, thank you so, so much for subscribing. And Isabel, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel, you guys. So happy to see you all. And I hope you're having a fantastic Christmas here. Um, advanced day. Yeah, we can do that. Whoops. <laughs> I think I sent it one too far. There we go. I think I have a lot of people out here searching for unicorns and equus with me on the server. I know the Patreons are often uh, helping me out that way. Bye, Adrian. Thanks so much for coming out today. Rob says, I found my first Perlavia today. I died very fast. Yeah, they stun you forever. I think the stun on the Perlavia is way too long, if you ask me. It's really bad. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find something. It looks like the whole team is going to be out looking for a unicorn or something. So hopefully we will find one. Uh, I do have a few griffin eggs. We could easily craft up a little bit of griffin kibble and tame a unicorn very quickly. Very, very quickly if we needed to. In the meantime, I'm going to keep looking for equus because I would even be happy finding, like, any equus because I do need a baby horse. I just need one. Uh, let's see. Nura, Nura says, dude, me and my friend have looked for hours and only found two low-level equus. Yeah, they're very uncommon. They're very hard to find. Um, Astasama says, my swift equus is faster than the other. Its power is 4.25. It's faster than my high-speed griffin. Awesome. Okay, so that is confirmed then. Apparently, those power levels do affect uh, speed at the very least. That's awesome. 
and man, that makes me want to get a really good uh, equus. So I'm going to have to tame a lot of them and see if I can get some high class ones. Definitely want to see if we can get the fastest equus possible for some horse racing events on the server. That would be amazing. Still not finding any equus here on the server. Super bummed. Might take out the unicorn for it. That would be kind of fun. Hmm. Uh, and <laughs> welcome, Guardian, to the stream. He's just angrily saying re. Welcome. <laughs> It's a guardian. Lots of galleys. Galleys and parasaurs. Not a single equus. I'm so sad. We should have the Christmas, uh, Christmas luck here. I feel like they should spawn more often on Christmas. Um, Emma says, there are unicorns on mobile. Yes, there are, and they are amazing. Isabel says, where do you find unicorns? Unicorns have a chance to spawn literally anywhere on the map. So anywhere that any other dino can spawn, a unicorn can spawn. So they are more rare than a Quetzal. Um, only one spawns on the map at a time. So you kind of have to look everywhere to find a unicorn. There's pretty much guaranteed to always be one on the map, but uh, it's really hard to find it and spot it. They are crazy hard to find. They are bright white, which helps, but they could be literally anywhere. I think um, we've found two on the server so far that I know of, mine and A-Tags. Uh, one of them was found on the border of the snow biome, and I actually don't know where the other one was found. But uh, they they are pretty rare, and they are very difficult to find. Yep, oh, and I'm out of stam. Classic. Totally wasn't watching. Was not watching. Um... <laughs> Guardian says it's Stinky Gecko. I know, right? Uh, let's see. Bun says, have I been forgotten by the Toast Queen herself? Absolutely not, Bun. It's not a thing. I don't forget people. Uh, Karthik Goku, hello. Welcome to the stream. And, oh my gosh. Last Guardian has twin Equus babies, you lucky bum. I so want those. Brian Rodriguez says, hi, Iguana. Hello. Welcome. Amelia says, a horse. Yes, the Equus are basically horses, and they're amazing. All right, there we go. Get back to our search. Pedro says, I saw one, but I didn't know it was a unicorn. Oh, bummer. They are actually really hard to tame. Like, you have to know, um, you have to have the right stuff. They do take griffin kibble to tame, so they are actually not an easy tame. Mostly because that's a really expensive kibble to make. Uh, so they are pricey to get, but they're totally worth it. Especially with their pretty little rainbow jump. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> um, Big Master Boy says, here's what I got for Christmas. My favorite candy, chocolate. I got a MacBook Pro. Wow, congrats. Clothes and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch. And then you got perfume. Hey, those are all pretty solid gifts. Um, okay, it looks like we got a frozen game here. This does happen sometimes. Emil says, can you pick up a unicorn and tame it back at base? Yes, Emil, you can. Uh, that's actually what we did with my unicorn is, uh, I believe they picked it up with a Quetzal. I think Quetzals are the only ones that can carry them. I might have to relog here, guys, since this is a little bit frozen. Sometimes it comes out of it, but it doesn't look like it's going to do it. All right. Wait, 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 wait. It did it. It magically did it. I was about to close it out, and it came back. <laughs> uh, Rex30 says, I have a cyan aloe growing up. Iguana, sorry for the caps. Wanted to get your attention. Also, were you going to show us your aloes? Oh, yeah, I was. Um, and we'll show off the unicorn, too, for anyone who's just joined the stream. Because I do love the unicorn very, very much. Oh, my gosh. Very, very laggy, buggy iOS performance is a little bit rough since the update. They probably will fix it, though. That was my dog, for anyone who actually heard that loud groan in the background. Uh, she's a little upset with me for streaming tonight. <laughs> um, Creamy Chicken says, Iguana, for Christmas I got a new Xbox and Arc. Congrats, that is amazing. Xbox is a great platform, I love it. 
Uh, Gold Nash, thank you so, so much for the super chat. He says, I found that uni. It was by my base. Oh, thanks, Gold Nash. Thank you so much. Um, I didn't know you found it because Atag is the one who trapped it. So thank you so, so much because I love that unicorn. Oi. Oi. What's going on? Not much. Not much? Home, ah, nice. Say hello to the chat, everyone. This is Mental. He is a former moderator on the Discord. Now he's just my tribe mate on the server. Hanging out with us in the chat today. Yep. Yep. Did you see the new unicorn? They're beautiful. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, we have one. Do we? <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. Oops. I'm going to tame a, a female one as soon as I find it as well. Oh, they're great. They have a beautiful rainbow jump. Uh, Trolley, thank you so, so much for the super chat. He says, I have a male equus you can use to mate. Heck, Trolley, bring it on over. Uh, I would actually do that on stream, although I'm not sure how fast that would go. Would be worth it. Um... <laughs> Ghost says, do I hear mental? Mental, are you there? Yep, mental is there. Oh my gosh, you are being greeted enthusiastically in the chat. <laughs> uh, the Potato Dragon says, I will stream snipe you if you kill a unicorn. I would never kill a unicorn. I would only ever tame one. I will. I will always kill them. No, stay away. Fight me. I will kill them all. How could you kill the bright rainbow drug producing creature? It's amazing. How couldn't I? <laughs> just just sit over there in your little defensive practical base and be sad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, George Jeffrey says, Mental, what's your favorite creature? What's mine? Yeah, what's yours? <sighs> it's my free gift. My favorite Gross. creature, huh? Yeah. Let me get back to you on that. There's a few. What, well, do you mean mobile or PC? Um, he didn't specify, but I would guess mobile. Nah. Or both. I'm guessing on mobile, it's probably something crazy practical like uh, cats. <laughs> mobile, I'd say it's got to be the RG. Because of the mm. fact that the RG can be used in solo. True, on yes. P on PC, it, it'd probably be something else. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. Um, Callie Girl, hello. She says, I have a 122 male equus. Well, Cowgirl, bring it over. Someone bring me a male uh, equus so we can do some breeding because I have a female here. Um, and I feel like I need a full on stream. If I can't tame one, I will breed one. <laughs> Uh, Jesus Ham says, can you have mutations for unicorn? I actually don't know. That's something I might have to check out when I get a female. Um, you can probably get stat mutations. I don't know if you can get, uh, color mutations. That would be really cool. Guardian says, my favorite creature is the iguana. Aww. Guardian's gonna make me blush, guys. <laughs> oh my heck, that's crazy. Um, let's see here. Do I think Wardrum will up the Equus spawn? Nora, Nora, I don't know. So I know that most of the spawn rates are based on the ones in PC. Um, I do feel like they could be a little more common. I would be really happy if they were a little bit more common for sure. So I don't know that they will, but I hope that they will. It looks like some people are hopping online who are probably going to bring over uh, some equus, which is great. So I'm actually going to go check. I'm going to go check down there one more time in Smuggler's Pass, but we're going to take the unicorn this time. And uh, if we don't find it, that's totally fine. We will just breed one up. That'll be pretty good. Jesus, uh, Jesus says color wise. Yeah, color wise, I don't know, but um, I will be finding out, I guess, because I will breed them like crazy and try to find one. Oh, man, I'd be so excited if we just randomly ran into a unicorn right now. Oh, that would be a good day. Would be a great day. 
What? I'm just reading your chat. People are saying this is my time to propose to you. <laughs> oh, heck. Apparently, uh, I'm also really quiet, according to Routrine. Uh, quieter than normal, yes. I mean, I haven't changed anything. Uh, it might be the way that my filters are set as well for the desktop audio. Um, wow, fix your filters, jeez. Uh, nope, actually, it's all the way up, so it's just you. Ha, not me. Fight. <laughs> Anytime. Um, let's see here. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, Axel, welcome. What did you miss? Uh, not too, too much. Basically, we've been looking for an Equestitan, but they're super rare, so we haven't had much luck. Um, I've been showing off my unicorn on stream because the unicorn is amazing and has this beautiful rainbow jump. Uh, but mostly we've been wandering around looking for Equus and hanging out with everybody because everyone is awesome. Kind of talking what we got for Christmas. Uh, yeah, if people want to like post what they got for Christmas in the chat. I'm always curious to see what people got. And uh, what people do for, for the holidays as well. Christmas or otherwise. I'm always curious. Um, <laughs> Rex30 says, Iguana, are you dating mental? Uh, not technically, no. Uh, let's see here. Does the unicorn have the ability different to the equus? Yes, one. They have a crazy big jump. It's like really long and they have a little rainbow trail and then their poop is magical as well. It's called unicorn residue um, and it gives your screen like a really weird effect if you eat it. I'm actually not sure if it does anything else, but it's a really cool thing to eat it and uh, wander around with a super colorful screen for a little while. So this is their jump much bigger than a normal equus can do. And is they're it good fertilizer. Yeah, it's good for fertilizer as well. Oh my god, is that a rainbow? What? Yes, it's a rainbow. That's why I love the unicorn. Oh my god. I need a thousand of these. Definitely need to breed them. PC. No, it doesn't. They changed it and it's amazing. What the hell? I love it. Hey, we have someone here. Hello, Bill Nye. Oh yes. There's a horse. Nye, the science guy. Boop, this is amazing. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Definitely going to do some breeding here. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to purchase an herbivore pheromone, guys, so that this goes a little bit quicker. That would make the gestation a little bit faster. There we go. All right. Now we should be able to put these guys on wander. Oh, how cute. Look at that. I love the prance. Now, I think if he puts that Equus on Wander, they should be able to mate uh, as ally mating. Um, the Potato Dragon says, I saw Mental kill an iguana. Wait, what? Why? Mental, did you? Did you kill an iguana? Dude, I haven't even... I haven't played Ark in so long. I don't know what you're talking about. I've noticed. It's okay. <laughs> uh... You got it, Bill Nye. Just to enable wandering. It should be fine. Mental the logic guy. <laughs> Mental the logic guy. <laughs> Pretty much. Rainbow's just over there pooping out some really good rainbow poop. It's good. Why are you not mating? Come here. Oh, I forgot that they rear. All right. Up, up, up. Your horse wandered off. It was working for a minute. We're so close. Uh, what is Equus Power? Ray, Equus Power is basically, I think it affects the stats. So, um, like a higher Equus Power would make a slower stamina drain and it would make um, probably a slower food consumption and maybe up the base speed. Those are the three stats I think they would probably affect most likely, but we'll see. Uh, Rasta Y says, Nani. Yes, hello. <laughs> we have a unicorn. Nandeska. We have a unicorn and a couple of equus that we're breeding here. Super excited. Let's see how long this gestation period is with the uh, herbivore pheromone on it. All right, 46 minutes. That's not too bad. We can make that work. 
Yeah, 46 minutes. It's quite a ways, guys, but we can definitely make that happen. Thank you so, so much, Bill Nye, for letting me uh, breed with your pony. I'm really excited. Really excited. This is going to be so cute. Extra cool would be if we got a mutation. Excellent. And then unicorns should always be ridden bareback, uh, as any good person knows. Oh, it's I had amazing. No idea that base was still standing. I love this base. It's my breeding base. <laughs> I <laughs> use it. I use it for I aloe breeding. Oh yeah, someone wanted to see my aloes earlier. I have a big mess of creatures here, but there are aloes in here. Uh, there you go. You can see I have a bunch of aloes. They're not very exciting colors right now, but I am breeding for mutations, so hopefully I'll have some good ones. Uh, Bill Nye, no, you are good to take your equus back. Um, now that we've bred up, it should be totally fine. Um, quick question, are you Tyrannus and Mobile? No, they are not, but I'm hoping that the devs add them. That is one of the requested creatures along with... Um, what is it? Along with the Thyla. Yes, those are the most requested creatures. And we are going to do one of these crazy rainbow jumps. Oh my gosh, I love that how slow they are too. Okay, that hurt a little, but not too bad. Rainbow jump. Unicorns are the best, guys. Magical Christmas unicorn. Um... <laughs> Axel says, you know when I told you I accidentally deleted Ark when my luck turned around? Oh, congrats. Uh, I hope that means that you were able to recover your file somehow. Oh my gosh, I love this unicorn. I really, really want another unicorn, guys. It's going to have to be a thing. We'll have to keep searching. I will eventually find a female. We will tame it. And we will do some breeding for sure. All right. Let's slowly, slowly, slowly. There we go down the hill. I love the little sound they make too. Uh, they do this little magical ching sound whenever they uh, poop that unicorn residue. It's kind of amazing. And they do a similar sound when they jump with the rainbow. <laughs> it's great. Uh, Peregrine Falcon, thank you so, so much. I am so excited that we hit 20k on the channel. I'm actually planning a special episode just for that. Um, oh, it's Terrorbird. Uh, probably going to be doing, like, a Titan taming video. Uh, that's gonna be really fun. So I am trying to get a hold of a Titan saddle, even though I'm not level 100 yet. Hopefully I'll find oh, someone sorry. to make me one. No worries. I'm not in a rush I'm for that. I'm watching your, I'm watching your stream chat instead of making your saddle. My bad. <laughs> totally fine. Uh, watching the stream chat is, is important. Man, we can leap over the oh, rivers just... perfectly. I just don't want to log in to Ark. No worries. I'll get all the stuff and then you'll only have to log in for like a second. Hello, mm -hmm. A-Tag. Uh, A-Tag is flying around. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Where's A-Tag going? Did she happen to find a unicorn? She's like screaming. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Ross says majestic. It is super majestic. I love it. Uh, you tamed four griffins and two unicorns today. Congrats, FHM crew. That is impressive. Isabel says, I want to join your Patreon, but I don't have a credit card. I have iTunes money, though. Uh, Isabel, DM me on the Discord. We will work something out. I do like to cut deals when people can't, um, actually afford the Patreon because they don't have the right type of payment. I do prefer Patreon, but um, can definitely work some other stuff out. A tag thought they found a unicorn, but it was just me. <laughs> That's great. Oh heck. Us with our little rainbow jump. She seriously thought she found a unicorn. All right. Gonna hop back over to the base, set the unicorn next to our pregnant equus, and then we will... Yeah, get back on the griffin and keep looking, I guess, guys. Unless you guys want to see me do something else on the stream, which is always an option. <laughs> uh, let's go over this way. Uh, where did I find the unicorn? Uh, Axel, I actually didn't find this one, so I don't know exactly where it was. Um, it was right outside somebody's base, actually. Whose was it? Uh, I just said it. I just said it. Ash, Golden Ash, uh, actually found this unicorn. 
was right outside their base, and then A-Tag trapped it for me at their base uh, by picking it up and carrying it to their base. So, I didn't actually find this one. They can spawn absolutely anywhere, so be aware. I think, oh no, wait, I think someone said it was on the border of the snow biome as well. That was a good view of the unicorn, but, hmm. Right. They're super awesome, though. I just love them. And they're actually very, very large compared to the Equus. I think they're significantly bigger than the Equus. Like, as you can tell just by looking at them, they're massive. Oh, boy. Oh, something's attacking, and it's going to get wrecked. I feel like whatever it is is going to get really, really wrecked. I don't even know what's attacking. Okay, then. Uh, oh boy. I have a mess to sort out now, guys. Uh, Phantom Spirit says, Megaloceros taming, that has to be thing. Alright, we can do that. We'll do that while we're waiting for the Equus uh, to get going here. I'm gonna take the horses back up, at least, so they're a little bit safer. A little bit closer to the base, and then we can definitely go and do some Megaloceros taming. That would be pretty fun. Do you just set everything on neutral? Is that what I had to sort out today? Maybe. My god, dude. <laughs> that way nothing Stop. dies. Do you only need your carnivores on neutral? Oh my god. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. You're gonna be okay. I'm dying. I know. Eh. Do our little buck attack. Um, something else is attacking. This is good. I like it. No, it doesn't no. happen when I'm not here. <laughs> if I don't come over here, nothing moves. Um, You're fired. Oscar Curiel says, I found a unicorn. What do I feed it? Congrats. Uh, you actually feed unicorns. Um, what are they called? Griffin kibble. So you do need to make griffin kibble if you're going to tame a unicorn, unfortunately. They are, they are pretty crazy. All right. We should be all good. Oop, cowgirl brought over another equus as well. Thank you. I don't know why Lucky Monkey is wandering. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be wandering. Why are you wandering? Come here. Oh, that's actually a pretty good level one as well. It's cute. Uh, that'll have to be the next one we breed with. We're definitely going to have to do multiple equus breedings. Get some really high level ones going on. Uh, wave and thank you cowgirl. Thank you so much for bringing it over Um, let's see here Chesta says hi. Hello. Welcome Um, Ray says I already I know you already answered one of my questions But do you remember me from your other streams and vids? Uh, I believe I do I don't think you talk a lot, but I do feel like your name is super familiar Um, all right Let's go ahead and drop Lucky Monkey over here so that he doesn't run away. And then we'll go tame some Megaloceros, guys, because it's Christmas. We should definitely be taming some Christmassy type creatures. And reindeer are nothing if not Christmassy. It's so cute. Hmm. hmm. How was everyone's Christmas? It was great. How was your Christmas? My Christmas was amazing. Honestly. Okay. Did you get my peppers? What? Did you send me peppers? Yes. <gasps> I had someone watching my house while I was at my family's, and I haven't checked the mail yet. I'm going to have to go and check the mail. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Mental has been promising me these peppers for months, guys. So that's awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Nice, spicy Portuguese peppers. I love it. I can't wait to burn everything. Ugh. All It'll of my food's going to be so... <laughs> I don't feel like the chat <laughs> needed to know that. <laughs> All right, then. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's go find some Megaloceros to tame, guys. Redwoods are the place to find the deer. <laughs> Changing the subject, she says. <laughs> oh my goodness hey, uh, I could have sent you something else but I didn't know what to get you so I know I'm hard to shop for you know a gamer yeah. and a girl I like... could also just go out and buy you a soul but you know oh, yeah you might be able to do that 
I didn't know they sold those. They must be cheap. Level 95 Megaloceros. Let's go for it. Uh, actually, you know what I should grab? Probably Ebola. That might be a good idea. Me. You? <laughs> uh, oh boy, a mental's flirting. No, I no flirt. No flirt. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, Jason says, where did you find your unicorn? I believe this one was found at the border of the snow biome, right behind the volcano. Uh, it does kind of vary. They have an equal chance to spawn pretty much anywhere on the map. How, what, did I miss? Yes, beautiful. Hello, Bo, how's it going? That was fast. I didn't need Ebola. I'm going to wave at all of the lovely patrons for coming out and hanging out with us today. Uh, yep. We're definitely going to need some berries to tame this one up. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> How to get a good saddle on mobile. Uh, Asta, there's a few ways. Uh, the best way to get, like, a good saddle is to get a blueprint and make one. Um, and so I have found that basically running caves usually gives you pretty good saddle blueprints for a few things. Um, and definitely checking the free gift ads is a good way to get saddle blueprints as well. So if you're watching those ads for the free gifts, that is a really good way to get saddle blueprints. And then you just have to crash them. Uh, did I say crash them? I meant craft them. Oh my goodness. Word associations. I struggle, guys. I really struggle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Tame a Kairuku. Oh, yes, the, we can do that as well. That would be a pretty good one. Who uh, are all these new mods? I don't know any of them. Uh, you don't know Ghost and Rohit? Uh, I don't know Ro Rohit, but I know Ghost, I think. Rohit's been on the channel for a very long time. He's been pretty awesome and is a uh, new mod as of today. Hi, Pteranodon. Oh, well, he's firing. I'm firing him. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dusty the Gaming Wolf. No, Mental's not my boyfriend. He is a former moderator and my tribe mate on uh, most servers. Super, not yet. Super Shush. helpful. Not yet. I'm going to get there, boys. <laughs> Eventually. I'm going to get there, boys. Uh, Jack says, you have carrots, right? Yes, I do, but I don't want to use them on the Megaloceros. I want to eat them, and I want to save them for if we run into an Equus. Equus can spawn in the Redwoods. It's just really, really rare. Um, how many Griffin Kibble for a Unicorn? Oscar, it varies a lot. Um, I have found the one I tamed, I tamed with two Super Kibble. So, that means I had to use a Carno Pheromone while I was taming them, uh, while I was breeding the Griffins to get the eggs. And one kibble on a level 85 unicorn was about 60%. So it's going to take quite a few griffin kibble to tame a normal um, high-level unicorn. So please be aware of that when you find one. Um, start stocking up griffin kibble now if you're starting to look for one, because it will take you quite a while. All right. Don't super feel like using Soothing Balm, but it's going really slow, so I might do it. I might do it anyway. Soothing Bomb are pretty cheap. There we go. Yeah. Might as well. We're going to have some Megaloceros, guys. I'm really excited. We'll look for one with antlers next, because I feel like we need one with antlers. And we'll give it a couple carrots. We can have a couple of carrots. That'll go faster. Uh, Omega, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh, Omega Carbide bringing it in. Thank you so, so much. Very appreciated. Heck. <laughs> um, let's see here. Could I talk to Squatch about making his PVX server transferable to my PvP server? Uh, Nura, Nura, yeah, absolutely we can do that. Um, I'm very happy to open up transfers with my servers and other uh, partner servers. Uh, anytime that people really need to go to another server, that'd be pretty great. Um, I've definitely let people onto them, so I'm happy to let people transfer on or off as desired. And Squatch is pretty awesome. 
All right, there we go. That's going much faster now. Um, I don't feel like we'll even need all these berries, but I'm going to give them to him anyway. Because I don't need them. Um... <laughs> Farrell says, I need to go, but can you say, Farrell, go to bed. It's late for me before I go. Yeah, I can. Uh, Farrell, go to bed. It's late. There you go. <laughs> Daily Intelliger says, answer question, please. My game crashes when I first enter the game. Yes, my iPad and game is updated. Um, and deleting and reinstalling won't work if nobody answered this question. <laughs> Don't threaten to unsubscribe. That's sad. Uh, but Daily Nutilagery, yes. Um, so, yeah, there are known issues with iOS devices right now, and they are definitely working on them. Wardrum is currently away because of the holiday, because it is Christmas today, but they should be back in the office probably tomorrow or later this week, I would think. Um, and I do know that they are prioritizing that, because a lot of people play on iOS devices, and all iOS devices are having crash problems right now. So I do think that they're going to work on that ASAP. Um, they're just kind of letting it settle while they're all away for the holidays. So hang in there for a day or two. I do think they are going to um, get it fixed soon. And Rete, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh. Rete says, congrats on 20k subs and hope you've had a very Merry Christmas. I super have. Thank you so much, Rete. And I hope you are having a fantastic Christmas as well. Uh, Mental says I was second only to Iguana herself, but now I just couldn't do my mod duties anymore at work too much. Yeah, Mental, you do. Uh, you've been working a lot lately, too, especially, so, uh, I appreciate all the time you put in on the channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Glad to just have you be a friend. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> oh my god, my pride as a man, it hurts. Oh, glad to have you be a friend and maybe more if you ever get up the guts to ask. Excuse me, young lady. <laughs> I've um, offered you to come over here for vacation, but meh. Ugh, you just offered like three days ago. It takes longer than that to get a car, uh, a ticket. No, sir. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh... Someone was asking something. Yeah, Daily Nutelligar, I'm really glad I was able to answer that for you. Um, what cave do you find Megalosaurus in? Uh, Megalosaurus you find in the central cave. So, hmm, see if I can point it out on the map. All right, there's a cave that my character icon is pointing at. It's between the volcano and what I like to call Obsidian Peak. Uh, that is where the central cave is. And that is where you find the Megalosaurus. That's the only place you can find them um, on the whole thing. Uh, we're getting attacked by a bear. Good. Serves you right. That was fast. One hit. It's gone. No more bear. Hey, it's Ninja Present. Hello. Whoops. I didn't mean to say thank you, but I guess I'll say thank you. Hello. Um, let's see. Discord is in the description. Yes, someone was asking about the Discord. It is in the description. Uh, and Guardian posted a link as well. <laughs> Parker says, go through the cave with your Megalosaurus you're taming now. Uh, with the Megaloceros? Oh my gosh. Uh, we could try, but Megaloceros don't do a whole lot of damage. I don't even think the Megaloceros females have an attack. I think they're just for running around. Um, Feral Thunder, yeah, you can animate that. That's fine. Awesome. We have ourselves a, a female elk. There we go. All right. Now we need uh, to find ourselves one with antlers. Let's run around, guys. There's tons in the redwoods, so we should find one pretty soon. Wait. Why are you training or taming Megaloceros? Because it's Christmas and they're reindeer. Shush. Also, we're going to need a name for this guy. <laughs> So, chat, if you have any good name suggestions for this Megaloceros, please do leave them in the chat, and we will pick one out and name this one. Uh, oh, hey, we're actually I close to base. You can die on the inside all you want. It's fine. And we also have a <laughs> wild fairy here trying to be a butt. It's attacking our Rex. It almost killed our Rex because the Rex is on passive. Why is the Rex on passive? Don't whistle neutral for whatever you do. 
I won't whistle neutral. I'm gonna change it manually. <sighs> Such a whiner. It took me so long to organize all those dinos. I please. just don't want our cool high level Rex to die. All right, it's a good one. <laughs> uh, Gold Nash, thank you so much for the super chat. That is very appreciated. He says, I'm taming my first Quetzal. Wish me luck. Congrats and good luck. Quetzals are awesome. They're super useful. All right. The Megaloceros is stuck on the Arthropleura, which I still need to name. There we go. You should name it nothing but stubs since it can't grow antlers. No. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Name it wannabe reindeer. That's actually not bad. Okay, it's not following me anymore. Um, Mega Santa, <laughs> useless tame as a name. People are really that mean. <laughs> it's so cute. Great. It's so cute though. Uh, good night, Feral Thunder. And Bun says, I never get noticed by anyone. Bun, I've actually called you out a couple of times this stream. Name it Dancer since it's a girl. Okay, we could name it Dancer. Rudolph or Cupid. I like those as well. Dark Critic hey, says, name it worthless. <laughs> guys can dance. They just usually choose not to in my experience, my limited experience. Yeah, my rhythm is not up to par. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to name it Dancer because that was like the first nice name suggestion I found. And it's suitably Christmassy, guys. So this is Dancer. We're going to go find one with antlers. And then uh, we will name that one probably another of the reindeer, actually. But uh, I'll leave that up to the chat. Let's see if we can find an antlered Megaloceros now. It's a little faster if we fly around on the griffin looking for one. Um. Well, there's a saber. Maybe there's one down here on the beach. There's usually some on the beach somewhere. Somewhere. There's a raptor. Hmm. Um, knock off reindeer, says <laughs> Rahe. Oh my gosh. Guardian says, name it used up tame slot. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, name the female one, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, because she's actually female. Uh, yeah, that might be a good one. Name it, I don't want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everyone's so cruel about them. Up, oh, I got a raptor on us. Kill the raptor. I don't need that raptor. I know what I wanted for Christmas. Uh, let me guess. Let me guess here. I'm thinking coffee you oh how sweet level five megaloceros but it's female i want a male ah argies argies on us oh no i didn't mean to kill the reindeer now i feel bad christmas is ruined it's bad news okay Okay, we'll go find another one. We'll make it up to him. We'll make another one our friend. It'll be okay. Um, <laughs> name it why? Megaloceros need care. Discount reindeer. I do like discount reindeer. That is a great name suggestion, Squishy Collectors. Very me. Very the channel. We just gotta find one with antlers now. There's a spino. Why are there always spinos when I'm not doing the daily pursuit? That's what I want to know. So frustrating. Um, pigs. No reindeers. Oh, there was one. Yes. Found one. I'm starving to death. Perfect. Okay, we're going to get a headshot on this. And it's out. Happy. Very happy. Uh, I'm actually going to use a soothing bomb on this one as well. It's a little bit faster. Don't scoff at me using a soothing bomb on this. <laughs> Shush. It's fine. It's okay. Um, yeah, George, I was starving. I did just eat, so we're good now. 
<laughs> Name it all I want for Xmas isn't you. That's pretty good. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> Asan says, hey, Iguana, how'd you like YouTube Rewind? I was one of the many that disliked it. Um, I did like that Element G actually released a Arc Mobile Rewind for 2018, and that one was actually really cute and well done. And uh, if you guys haven't, you should definitely watch that video. It's super cute. It's by one of the Arc Mobile partners named Element G. It's got a little rewind video. Um, much better than the actual one. <laughs> Uh, name it Rudolph the Ripoff Reindeer. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are terrible. Dude. <laughs> YouTube Rewind was so bad. Oh, it was cringy. It was so painful. It um, hurt. A-tag, so the elks are good for getting thatch, and they're fast and have a big jump. That's about it. They're good for running away. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Name him Toast. Ooh, Toast is always a good name. Name it Donner. Donner is a great name. Cecilia, we're going to name it Donner for sure. Plushy Gamer, thank you so Cecilia. much for subbing. Welcome to the stream. Rayte says Dasher, of course. Yes, Dasher or Donner would have been good. <laughs> uh, so Cecilia and Rayte both had classic name suggestions that I like. Um... Apex, I needed a male, and I actually got one. It's good stuff. Ooh, a level 140. That's pretty good. Um, Gameplay says, tame high-level dino. You tame very low-level dinos. Um, 95 is not the worst ever. I'm mostly taming any I can find in the Christmas spirit. Uh, we're going to take them back to base and just have them hang out as, like, little Christmas decorations, so their level doesn't super matter. Um... I do try to tame high-level dinos when I'm specifically looking for a dino to be useful. So, for instance, uh, Quetzals, Rexes, um, Gigas don't really matter because they have pretty much the same stats no matter what level you get. Uh, RGs, things like that. So, things that I think are going to be useful and that I'm going to use a lot, I tame high levels. So, for instance, Barfiric here was very close to a max level tame, uh, and he's pretty OP. It's pretty great. Uh, but for something like this that's just sitting around the base, lower level is actually better because that way I'm not wasting resources taming it. Uh, Sibadeep says, where can I find a unicorn? You can find a unicorn anywhere on the map. They have a random chance to spawn literally anywhere on the map except in the water. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really difficult, but uh, you can find them anywhere and they're hard to find so just keep looking you'll eventually get one <laughs> uh who agrees they should add scorched earth aberration and extinction uh aqua plays i would love to see that but i also don't think that those maps would do very well because mobile's pretty limited so they would have to remove a lot of the aspects of those games and to be honest i'd like to see a new mobile specific map i really hope it's a new map that they're going to bring in 2019 uh but we'll see uh, Iguana says cringe now. I say, I've said cringe before. Lady Starlight says Blitzen. Yes, Blitzen is another good name. People with the good names. <laughs> Serene says animal abuse. Just put them around the base as, decoration, as decorations. Megaloceros abuse. I think it's not abuse because they get a nice, easy life. They get to be well-fed and happy. Um, and they just get to chill. They don't have to work. Uh, good night, Ghost. Thanks so much for coming out. I'm so happy that you were able to come out for the stream and hang out with us. This parasaur is very much in my way. Like, painfully so. There we go. Yeah, just mosey on over there. We're good. Um, where do Equa spawn? Joshua, so Equa spawn... Uh, it's a little hard to describe, but essentially that river on the east side of the map so the right side of the map here is a pretty good area to find them anywhere along that river is a good area to find them um you can google their spawn locations they're pretty they're pretty similar to how they are on pc um i usually find mine in smugglers pass uh they are an uncommon one so you probably will have a hard time finding one especially the first time around 
Right, let's make sure this Megaloceros can come with us. Um, so I think we were going to name this one Donner. I think we were going to name this one Donner. It's a pretty good name. Uh, we have an ant on us. No, I didn't mean to punch you. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh man, the Megaloceros is vicious. He was going for it. Up, oh, frozen. Ah, uh, completely frozen. That's great. I love when this happens. Um, Gameplay says, "My name's Deep. I'm a big fan of you. Thank you so much, Gameplay. That is very appreciated. Uh, Deep, thank you so much. I am gonna have to see if I can get this to unfreeze. And there we go. Apparently, when I go to just barely relog, it uh, it fixes itself. Beautiful." Not Ronner. Ronner's not a name. There we go. Donner. Actually, I think it's two ends, isn't it? Donner. Close enough. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jose says, "Can you sing this?" Rudolph the Ark prehistoric non reindeer had a very normal nose, and if you ever saw it, you wouldn't, cause it's normal. <laughs> Um, I probably could, but I feel like I would lose the tune very quickly. It's gotta be a difficult tune. Alright, let's, let's slowly find our way back over to the base here. Um, Stego Lizard, hello and welcome. No worries. What did you miss? Uh, not too much. We were looking for an equus. We have not found one yet. We are currently taming ourselves, um, a couple of Megaloceros to hang around the base as like Christmas tames and then we are we actually do have an equus that we just bred up and we are going to watch that hatching uh, when it comes about it should be getting relatively close to the time to get that hatched up so I'm just gonna take this guy back over to base and then we'll fly over and check on the equus as well as maybe take another spin on our unicorn because I'm obsessed with the unicorn rainbow jump all right come on little deer you can do it we got an RG on us now. RG's everywhere. Uh, Plushie says, how was your Christmas going on? Mine was great. I hope yours was. My Christmas was amazing, honestly. I had, it was really busy because uh, I have a lot of family, actually. But it was really fun to hang out with them all and to see them all. And yeah, I don't know. It was just really good. Didn't get a ton, but um, I was really happy to just hang out with everybody and uh, be near my family for a good chunk of time for once. Was hard, though, because we don't have very good internet there, so I felt like I was abandoning the YouTube, and I felt really bad about it all week, because I couldn't get an update video out. But those will be coming now that I'm back. Alright. Let's run over this way. We're almost, almost there. Yes. We're back. Uh, and things are missing. I feel, I feel like I'm having a render issue right now. Hey, and Sam brought us another awesome Megaloceros. Ooh. Up, up, stop all. Can we, there we go. Ooh, a level 140. All right, we're definitely going to have to tame this one as well, guys. It's going to have to be a thing. Uh, yep, I'm going to have to relog because everything is very broken right now. Um, but once we do that, we'll tame this guy up. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Gameplay says, I'm watching live right now. I love to watch your videos. Thank you, Gameplay. I'm really excited that you, uh, that you enjoy the content on the channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, Ray says, does your family know you're a YouTuber? Yes, they do know. Um, they're a little confused by it because they actually, when I was growing up, they didn't really like me to play video games. Uh, in fact, they pretty much always told me no video games. Like, that was their biggest thing was I got to play, like, Pokemon on an N64 and then not a lot else while I was growing up. <laughs> um, and ever since then, they've been very anti-game. And so I, when I turned 18, I kind of went crazy and started playing all the games I could get. And that's how I became a gamer. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. All right, where did that deer go? 
Yeah, see, there were a lot of things that weren't rendering in for us. He's around here somewhere. Yes. Beautiful. You are going to stay. And you're going to be my friend. It's probably only going to take two shots. Probably. How? How are you still up? There you go. You're a tough little Megaloceros. I'm impressed. All right. So uh, this one we're going to have to name as well. Serene Ear says, mental propose. <laughs> Everyone's encouraging mental to propose. I'm, I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and soothing bomb this one and tame him up as well. And then I'll feel pretty good about our little Christmas Megaloceros collection. I think that'll be just about right. Um, <laughs> right, it says, and now you're probably earning more money than them. Uh, actually, my parents are retired, so because of that, probably I am. But, uh, no, they actually make much more than me and have for a long time. Uh, with three jobs, I'm finally starting to catch up, but, uh, they have health insurance and things, and I don't, so that's, uh, that's a thing. Well, I guess I do, it's just theirs is better. I forgot about the Arthur Plura. Eh. All right. We should be up fairly soon. And then we'll need a name for this one. Uh, Cecilia says Blitzen. All right. Um, or Dasher. Reite says Dasher. Cecilia, we did use Donner last time. So I'm going to go with Reite's uh, Dasher this time. So we'll have Donner and Dasher and uh, Dancer. We'll do all the Ds. Um, Kim says Giga Feed. Yes, uh, Gigas are pretty amazing. Uh, this one is sunk into the ground. I don't know why. He should be okay on food. Yeah, they they feed themselves a lot. Dillo. No. I'm annoyed. The Giga is gonna eat. Yep. It's a little terrifying through the poison screen. Um. <laughs> How did Rudolph's dad react when he saw his red nose? Not well. <laughs> Name it Rudolfo. Uh, that would actually be pretty good. How did you get 3,500 amber? Uh, Omar, I purchased that amber when I was, um, when it was Black Friday. So they had a big Black Friday sale and everyone had like, they basically gave you more amber for your money. I'm also a Primal Pass holder, so they gave me extra Amber for my money, and so I decided that it would be worth, um, I decided that it would be worth purchasing Amber at that time because I wanted this series to check out every item that they bring to the game, no matter how much Amber it cost, and so I purchased quite a bit of Amber at that time, um, in order to be able to do that, and I've been trying to slowly use it since then, and I do still watch ads and, uh, do the daily pursuits as well, so I'm getting, I am using Amber, I did purchase Amber finally, uh, but I am, a lot of the stuff I'm using is still just in terms of, uh, getting it from the gameplay when I'm doing stuff like purchasing Soothing Bombs, I get all of that Amber from doing daily pursuits. Um, <laughs> let's see, Rampa Carno says, do you think I need handlebars to ride a dragon boss? Probably. That's a weird question. Uh, there are a lot of errors in the game arc. For example, when you exit the cave, there's a bug in the game and it exits the game. What's the solution to that? Um, report that to the devs. I'm sorry, I can't read the name because I don't uh, read Arabic very well, but uh, report that to the devs. They are very good at looking into those types of crashes and things and uh, getting them fixed. So definitely check it out. Um, hey, Mark, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Fleshy says, I want to be an awesome arc tuber like you. You should go for it. Uh, it's super, super fun to uh, do YouTube, especially for Arc Mobile. It's been a great community. And so I highly suggest just starting to make videos. Even if you don't speak, there's a lot of pretty big Arc Mobile YouTubers that don't even talk in their videos. If you just do a text overlay, uh, that works pretty well. James Fang, um, 
The spawn for the unicorn is literally anywhere on the map at all. They can spawn anywhere. Uh, I don't have a specific location to give you, unfortunately. Only one spawns on the map at a time, and they do take Griffin Kibble to tame. So if you do find one, I suggest picking it up and taking it back to your base. I believe you can carry it with a Ketz, um, and then trapping it until you have enough uh, Kibble to tame it. Uh, GT Demons says, Merry Christmas, Iguana, and everyone, Merry Christmas, GT Demons. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas day. Honestly, I do. Um, K Ran says, Do you know if you can buy God Console with a $15 iTunes gift card? Uh, K Ran, you can if you can counter, uh, factor in tax. So, depending on where you live, there might be sales tax. And if there's sales tax, it's going to cost you a little bit more than $15. Um, so you might be able to do it with 15 or $16, but, uh, 15 might be pushing it in some places. Um, okay. Your name's Mohammed. Thank you. Mohammed Dia. I will try to remember that. Thank you so much for letting me know how to pronounce that. Um, to potato dragon says, I guess no more mental. He probably fell asleep. It is very late his time. Uh, and he does work a lot. Sam says, name it Dashing Blitzen. Oh, that's a good idea. We could mix it up. That way we get two deer in the same area. I hear a chunk. Is that mental in the background? I think he fell asleep, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. What level do you need to be to tame Griffin's level 30 and under? That depends on what game mode you're using. Um, so if you're using a medium game mode, level 30 and under, you should be able to tame at level, like, 85, 86. Uh, if you're doing it on easy mode, you're going to be, need to be level 95 since it is technically, like, max level on that type of game mode. <laughs> uh, am I going to tame a squid today? No. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taming a squid today because squid are... Difficult to tame, and they're difficult to find, for sure. Just waiting for this Megaloceros to tame up. Uh, he'll go hang out with the others, and then we'll do all that. It'll be good. Uh, Han Zong, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. So happy to see you here today. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all the good stuff. Uh, Lady Starlight says, any tips for new ARC Mobile YouTubers? Um, yes, consistency is everything. So even if you're not, like, if you feel like you're not great, because maybe you are and you just don't know it, uh, if you feel like you're not great at YouTube, make a video anyway and just be consistent. Do it a lot. Make like three videos a week on the same day every week. People will know when to expect your videos and they are going to be more likely to watch your channel. Uh, A-Tag, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my goodness, A-Tag, thank you so, so much. It says Merry Christmas, Iguana. Merry Christmas, A-Tag. Oh, heck, I have the nicest people in my channel. Um, yeah, chat, please thank ATAG for us as well. Heck. <laughs> um, all right, so this Megaloceros, I think we're going to name it um, Dashing, Dashing Blitzen. Um, that way we're getting as many, like, names in there as we can since I think we're maxed out on Megaloceros tames. I don't want to use up too, too many tame slots on these guys. All right. Dashing Blitzen. I do wish that they would bring the reindeer costume uh, to Arc Mobile because that is a thing on PC. And so I would like to see that come to mobile because that would be really, really fun to de uh, dress up all of our reindeer as like little Rudolphs. That would be great. Okay, we're going to go check on the Equus real quick. Uh, all our little reindeers are just going to hang out here. But I need to make sure that the Equus hasn't had that full yet. Because uh, I want to be sure I'm there to claim it. It's important. It's very important. Uh, Atag says the server is the best. Aw, Atag, you're the best. You guys are what make the server the best. I can't lie. Um, Harry Dugan says, hi, what did you get for Christmas? Hello, I actually got some really, really strong coffee, and I actually did get some toast, which was pretty awesome. Uh, very much enjoying the toast, and got some, like, the world's strongest coffee, which I definitely need since I work three jobs, but it was super great. Ooh, I almost glitched into the building there. 
There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Check on the pony. Let's see how much time we have left. A minute 48. That is perfect. Oh my gosh. My timing could not be better for this. Let's go ahead and take this girl outside. Uh, actually, let's gather some berries while we're out here. We have about a minute to gather berries on this girl before uh, baby foal comes along. So I'm just going to gather a bunch of berries so we can keep it all fed up. All right. A little bit more. As much as we can get from the area. Just don't want baby to starve. Definitely going to raise this little foal. Okay. Um, and before I forget, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off this uh, turret as well. Just in case it decides to try to shoot at our baby horse. Oh, we got a minute left, guys. I'm so excited. Um, Jose says, Iguana, someone made a, vid about you a video about you called Iguana Gaming Exposed. You should check it out. I actually have seen that. Official Draboa made that video, and it's actually really well done. Um, <laughs> but it is really funny if you guys want to check that out by Official Draboa. It is satire. It's meant to be a joke. Um, but... It, it is, it's a little bit tragic, and it does show the dark side of Iguana Gaming, so worth checking out. Uh, Spartan2410, I almost missed that super chat. Thank you so, so much for the donation. Uh, donated through super chat and said, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Spartan. Merry Christmas to you, too. And guys, if you have not already, please thank Spartan in the chat as well. Everyone who donates is so appreciated on the channel. You really are, as is everyone who likes and subs. And, uh, yeah, hangs out with us. It's good stuff. <laughs> there it is. It's a baby. No, no, come here, come here, come here. Don't, don't, don't walk away from me. Okay. We have an equus, guys. It looks just like its mama. Um, it is a female, so we will have lots of opportunities to, uh, get more baby equus, I guess. It's a lower level. But it is very cute. All right, let's go ahead and grab some berries here. I don't want our little Equus baby to starve. Oh, no. Oh, no, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. It's wandering. No, no, no. Let me see. No wandering. Stop. It's a little trotting off. Oh, my goodness. Too cute. Oh, it's so cute, guys. It doesn't look super much like a foal. It just looks like a miniature equus, but it is adorable. Oh my goodness. Uh, the Tempest says, what is the best way to climb iguana? Um, I'm not sure. What's the best way to like climb a mountain? Uh, to find the best way up or to get a flyer for sure. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Uh, Blue Alex, totally fine if you can't donate. I am just happy to have everybody liking and subbing. That makes a lot of difference on the channel for sure. Yes, Mark, I did get 20k subs and I am so excited about it. We're actually going to do a special 20k video that is separate as well. And guys, we're going to need a name for this. Um, we're definitely going to need a name for this Equus, so start thinking of good suggestions. Uh, did they make griffin taming easier? Uh, yes, griffin taming is a little bit easier because you can now use griffin kibble to tame them, so it's significantly easier. The first one is still a little rough because uh, you need, need to use aloe kibble to get a breeding pair, but once you do that, um, not too bad. Atag, yeah, absolutely, we can look for a unicorn. Um, I'm actually probably going to do that once I get this uh, little equus all settled up with some berries. <laughs> Cecilia says mental snoring in the background, LMAO. I know, it's adorable, right? I could mute him. He probably would want me to. But it's so cute. <laughs> uh, Iguana, if you see a unicorn, you need griffin kibble. Yes, Camden, you do. Um, I actually have a unicorn tamed up. Do you see here? We have a unicorn. Uh, I, this video is probably going to come out sometime tomorrow. I'm very excited about this unicorn tame, and I am actually looking for a female unicorn as well uh, so that we can do some unicorn breeding because that has to be a thing. It's an absolute must-have on the channel. Oh, the equus is so cute. I love it. Um, name it My Little Pony. 
It's pretty good. Uh, the horse was named a donkey. <laughs> donkey is an idea for sure. Um, zebra donkey, racing stripes, equus gaming. Ooh, name it the equus iguana, zeblo or kumba. Oh, I do like kumba. That's pretty lacy. Um, buttercup is cute as well. A reef, the name of the server is called Toast Kingdom. It is password protected since, since it is a Patreon server. Um, Stripey Toast, the name of the unicorn rainbow toast. <laughs> and I've brainwashed you into toast. I know, right? Toast is a great name. Works for everything. Uh, let's see here. Name her Cupid. Ah, oh, Cecilia, that's a good idea. Um, Coloma. Oh my gosh, so many good ideas. Feed it rock carrots. Uh, Omar, yeah, we can definitely feed it rock carrots. Uh, they do eat berries, though, once they're tamed up, uh, which is a little bit cheaper than carrots. I'll give it, like, one. It can't hold any, actually, at the moment. I'm going to stack my carrots. There we go. I'm actually going to eat those so I don't starve to death. Um. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bun, that's crazy. That's an interesting poem you just wrote there. James says, sing a song for everyone. Uh, we'll see. D-Beast, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Name it Christmas Donkey like the song. Oh, okay. We can do that. I like that. That's actually really cute because it's Christmassy. Uh, that's not a capital. There we go. Christmas Donkey. Even though it's not a donkey, it's an equus. We'll name it Christmas Donkey. I'm sure she's not offended. That's good. I like that a lot. Gotta, like, spread out the name suggestions and who I get them from. Okay, so she should be okay for a little while hanging out here, uh, eating up all of her little berries there. And we can continue, actually, looking for... Okay, I do have Bright Night on. We can continue looking for a unicorn for a while. I think that would be okay. And then we'll come back and check on her occasionally to make sure she doesn't starve to death. Um... And if people want, we can actually, I do have some penguins, so I don't know if we really need to tame any. And if I do find an equus, we will be taming that as well. Um, it is really hard to see. You know what I'm going to do? There we go. The rain at night, even with bright night on, is just not ideal. So, all right, I'm going to do this. Look around for an equus. Hopefully we find one. Because I would love to do an actual taming on the video. Uh, especially if we found a unicorn. That would be ideal. Okay, gotta kill this Rex. This Rex is in the way of my equus spawns. Um, Malcolm L, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. So appreciated. I do hope you are enjoying here today. Oh my goodness. Very cool. Welcome. Alright, I see a griffin. Is that somebody's griffin? Or is that just a wild griffin? Oh, it's just a wild griffin. That's fun. Ouch! She's angry. I think that's a female. Yep, it's a female. Alright. We're going to have to take her down. Uh, she's pretty low level, so I don't feel too bad about it. And she's kind of being a problem over here. She left the mountain. It's not a thing. Can't leave the mountain. You need to stay on Far's Peak. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Adrian says, what are penguins for? They drop organic polymer, which is very cool, but you do have to kill them to get it, which is a little bit sad. Uh, aside from that, they mostly just look cute. That's really their main function is to be adorable. I would like to see a penguin small enough to ride on your shoulder. I would carry those around forever. Uh, right along with uh, otters, I think they would be some of the cutest shoulder mounts. Oh, heck, I would, I would freak out if we saw a unicorn. I'm hoping the game will pick up on the mood here and give me a unicorn. Would be amazing. I don't think it will. All right, um, yeah, we'll fly back this way, down along the river. Uh, TV says, how are you so good at Arc Mobile? I've been playing since the beta, and I'm really not even that good. I'm just kind of okay. 
Mostly I just know a lot of facts about the creatures because mostly what I do on here is tame and breed. Uh, not so great at the PvP stuff. Have done at times, but I'm definitely better in PvP with a team. I'm a pretty good sniper. That's, that's about all I can claim. Um, let's see here. Master I, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Big Master Boy says, I'm so happy I'm getting married. I'm so happy for you, Big Master Boy. That is amazing. Uh, Jack says, how does your name show when you're subbing? Uh, it's a setting on your YouTube channel. So there's a setting that basically says hide or keep my subscriptions private. Um, if you have that enabled, your name won't show up when you subscribe to a new channel on a stream. It won't be alerted. Uh, so you have to disable that if you want your name to show up on a stream. Uh, quick tip for everyone who wants that to happen. Uh, our geeks, thank you so much. Uh, our geeks has just donated through Streamlabs, and he says, "Keep it up, keep on, keep it on, Iguana, you rock." Thank you, our geeks. You are amazing. I am so happy to have you on the Patreon server. And oh my gosh, thank you so much for the donation here today. Oh heck, everyone's making me all teary again. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good to be back to streaming and talking to everybody. I've missed you all. It's been like a week. It's crazy. All right. Checking all the good equa spawns. Uh, let's actually check the river. Don't hit the water. I hate when I hit the water. Uh, Six Code says, congrats on your 20k. Thank you so, so much. Very appreciated. Lady Starlight has just subscribed, as has Jax. Welcome, guys. <laughs> again and I'm really glad that worked out for you. <laughs> uh Preven Panchal says, what's your server's name? Uh my server's name is Toast Kingdom. It's pretty amazing. Uh it is a Patreon only server, so if you do want to play on this server, you will have to become a Patreon. Um yeah, it's that's the thing. And the Patreon is linked in the video description down below for anyone who's interested in that. I do have free fan servers available as well. So if you don't want to become a Patreon, I do have a couple of servers that are free to play uh, that I do run and I occasionally do play on and hop into and chat with people. So uh, you can look out for those as well. And those, you can just search up uh, Iguana and you will see them in the unofficial servers list. There are three of them. Um, no Equus. I love it when Equus spawn here because it's such an easy place to tame them, but I cannot find one at all. It's making me sad, guys. Uh, and Noah Golding just subscribed as well as the Rampant Carno. Thank you guys so much for subbing. <laughs> welcome to the channel and or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're enjoying today. All right. Let's see. Not a single Equus. They do typically spawn along this river, so it's a pretty good place to find them usually. Although, like I said, I have the most luck um, in Smuggler's Past, but I have seen them spawn out there. And then they also spawn over this way. Not really in this canyon, but over on these two beaches here in the very lower southwest corner of the map. They do spawn over by where the lava cave is on these little beach areas. Um... Doesn't look like we're seeing any here today. Sad. But it does happen sometimes, so make sure you're in this uh, area checking on occasion. Nothing. Nothing at all. Ugh. I'm sad. I have found them on this beach before. It's rare, but it does happen. Not seeing any today, though. All right. Um, <laughs> Lady Starlight says, LOL, just testing. Oh my gosh, right? Uh, Spartan says, hey guys, let's get Iguana to 60k subs by the end of next year. That would be incredible. I would be super happy. That would be tripling the size of the channel. Up. 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 Frozen. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, magic. I can get it to unfreeze by pretending I'm going to close the app. Oh, A-Tag has a level 15 uni implant. A-Tag, I would love that. I would love that uni implant. Is it a male? 
a tag male or female she's probably watching but I uh, gotta check male it's a level 15 male but guys do you want to see a uni tame on stream today because we can definitely do that um, level 15 male we do have an implant for it it is a bit of an oof, but it's still a unicorn, and I still will tame it. Uh, James Fang and Mies Plays, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel here, guys. So excited to see you here. Get it? Yeah? People want to see it? Yes. All right. Uh, a tag, we will take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's say green obelisk. Because that's where I'm at. Although, I do need to go and get the kibble. But it is just up the way. That should be a one kibble tame, to be honest. So, I should be able to get that pretty easily. Um, and I do have my kibble at this base over here. So, I'll, I'll get it real soon. Eh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's land. Perfect. Uh, yep, we're going to need to relog. it looks like, because I am not seeing any of my creatures. I know I'm running into an Equus right there. All right. I think it's in here. Yes. I'll take those Griffin Kibble. I do have a couple of those, um, so I should be okay. And then I am going to start, obviously, um, creating more Griffin Kibble as well to uh, tame up a female uni if we ever get one, but I'll take a level 15 uh, unicorn for sure. Even if it is a male, because we do have a better one, but I'm always happy to, uh, I'm always happy to have more unicorns. Uh, Janel says, show Equus, please. Uh, we will do that as soon as we are done with the unicorn tame here. All right, I'm actually going to land down here. Because the unicorns are pretty spooky. Alright, and I'm going to relog real quick. Because uh, I actually can't see much of anything, guys. So, one second here. My game is kind of freaking out. Um, <laughs> Spartan, I am so lucky to have so many amazing subscribers. They are awesome. I love all of you all so, so much. I honestly, that's why I rushed home today, because I really wanted to do a Christmas stream with, like, as many of my favorite people as I could get. Uh, Darkstar says, where do unicorns spawn? Uh, they actually spawn randomly anywhere on the map. So anywhere that's not the actual ocean, you will be able to find one. Um, they There's only one on the map at a time, though, so they are tricky to find, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Whoop. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so we're here at the obelisk. We should be able to get um, this unicorn tamed up, I'm hoping. And uh, Ninja, I'm actually okay. I think I can... I have plenty of bombs on me. I actually do have a bomb on Barfiric, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. My griffin has one. Uh, how do I tame a Tapajara? So Tapajaras, the best way to tame those at the moment is to bola them. Um, so if you have a bola, use that... And then, yeah, it's not too hard from there. Once you bola it, just shoot it in the head uh, with trank arrows or trank darts, and it'll go down pretty quick. It only takes a couple, even for a max level one. Okay. And you get this. Get the soothing bomb ready. Hello. <laughs> It looks like Atag is also having trouble because she uh, completely just logged off. <laughs> Definitely a problem. All right. Uh, we'll wait for her to log back in here. There we go. Um, <laughs> let's see. Can I get an Atag as a stream savior in the chat? Atag is amazing. Atag also uh, trapped the first unicorn for me to tame as well. So she's been awesome in general. Hello. I wonder how expensive unicorns are to revive, actually. I haven't even checked that yet. So this will be a good test. Perfect. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see how bad this is going to hurt. 68 amber. That's pretty hefty for a level 15, not going to lie. Um, Suge One Play says, please name the unicorn my little pony. I beg you. <laughs> All right, Suge One, just for you, we will name this one my little pony. Uh, Jack Nguyen says, I'm new. I sub and click the bell. Jack, thank you so, so much for subbing and hitting that notification icon. It is super appreciated. Six codes. Do I have a free server? I have three free servers. Let's go ahead and revive this guy real quick. And then back up. Back up, back up. I am wearing ghillie already, so I'm not too worried about that, as you can see. Oh, he's so pretty. Don't run away. Okay. I'm going to sneak up on him. All right, we used a soothing bomb. All right, so we're going to use Griffin Kibble. That is the taming stuff. Now, you can ride these guys to tame them, but I actually prefer... I really prefer not to, um, because it's trickier. Perfect! And actually, we didn't even need to. Uh, it only took one kibble. So we're all good. We have ourselves a new unicorn. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, Ninja, thank you. <laughs> Ooh! An herbivore fairman. Thank you so much, Ninja. That is super appreciated. Hello and welcome to the stream. I love it. We have ourselves a new unicorn, guys. Um, Bryce says, hey, Iguana, how are you doing tonight? I have a question. Bryce, go ahead and throw it in the chat. I will try to catch it for sure. I'm doing really good. I love the unicorn. It's beautiful. Ninja needs the poop. All right. We'll, uh, we'll wait here for this unicorn to poop. Maybe we can get it to, uh, to poop if we just, like, move around a little. Oh, man. Unicorn's beautiful. I love them so, so much. Um, Mystic and Fortnite says, can you tell me what server you are on? I am on Toast Kingdom. It is my Patreon server. Yeah, Atag, we do need a female. So we have three male unicorns on the server and not a single female. I'm a little sad. This one is a male, guys. Unfortunately, as is our other one. If it was a female, I would have been super excited, but uh, just a male. Still really excited, but um, we're on the lookout for a female for sure. As soon as we find one, it's going to be a thing. Um, <laughs> Bun says, roses are red, violets are blue. When there is a raid, I know what to do. Strap some C4 on a dodo's beak and throw it over Far's Peak. Going in their base and blowing up in their face. There you go. I read your little Christmas arc poem. <laughs> um, Noah says, watch the special ability. So the special ability is that they poop what's called unicorn residue, which is really cool. Uh, basically, basically, unicorn residue lets you um, hallucinate for like five minutes. It's a really long effect. It changes your screen's color. They also have this cool like rainbow jump that they do, which is beautiful. Uh, it's a really big jump uh, with that really big rainbow, which is pretty amazing. And they're also quite a bit bigger than regular Equus. Uh, so they do have some special abilities, but otherwise their attacks are the same. They have the jump, they have the kick. Uh, oh no, I can fix it. There we go. Um, and then they have their regular bite attack. They're not too much more special than Equus in terms of stats. They just have the, uh, the cool jump ability. Uh, Master says, how do you crouch? Unfortunately, you are not able to crouch um, in the mobile game. It's not a thing, sadly. Sadly. It's it's pretty tragic, actually. I, I really wish it was a thing, but there you go. Um, yeah, it would crowd the UI and probably make it easier to break the map. So that's not a thing that they've allowed. I love having a unicorn. I really do. Wait, how do I? There's my griffin. I was trying to find my griffin there. We're going to run this guy back to base to hang out with our other unicorn. All right, follow. Okay, and then hopefully we will find a female unicorn in the future here, but probably not going to be on today's stream because they do take a while to respawn once you've tamed one or killed one. I think it's like an hour on PC. Hopefully that's the same on mobile. 
Um, so probably won't find one this time, but happy to see a unicorn at all. 68 amber is quite a bit for a level 15, though. Can't lie. Jackman says, I love you so much. Oh, thank you so much. That is very appreciated. Eddie-san says, I get a horse and you get a unicorn. Oh, life isn't fair. I actually have two unicorns now, so it's really not fair. But they're both male, so there's still opportunity to get a female. Um, and I actually do have an equus as well. But they're all awesome. Anytime you get a horse on here is pretty great. I just know I'm going to be doing a lot of, like, uh, ground taming from the back of a unicorn from now on. Because why would you not? Um, George says, hey, gotta go. Love you and your YouTube channel, Game on Iguana. Thank you so much, George. Thank you for coming out and watching today. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. Come on, Barfiric. You can do it. I promise. You can do it, Griffin. Keep up with us. Oh my gosh. Love it, love it. We'll run our way back here. Um, Six Code says, I use the uni poop for fertilizer. Yeah, it is basically poop, so it has multiple uses. Uh, if you like having your screen be crazy colors, you can use the poop for that. Uh, you can use it as fertilizer. Like normal poop, I guess. Um, I don't know if it has any other uses. I guess I could do some experimenting and see, but uh, the drug seems to be the big thing, so maybe we'll... Maybe it's just that? I don't know. Jump! Oh no, we're gonna land in the water. That's bad. Wait, there's a way out. I see a way out. I can't jump out of the water. Sad day. I feel like I should be able to rainbow jump out of the water. That would be amazing. Don't drown. Don't drown. We're good. All right, we'll go up here, we'll cross the river, and then we'll be able to run up to base. Uh, Noah says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, Phoenix says, When is Tech Armor going on mobile? So Tech Armor, I don't think, is planned to go on mobile, sadly. Um, it's just not something I think they've done. I didn't mean to jump there. I'm going to kick this guy. I want to knock the scorpion out. All right, we're going to buck him until he's knocked out. There we go. Unconscious scorpion. Unconscious scorpion for sure. All right, hopefully we're not hitting uh, our friend over there. And now we're going to kill the scorpion. Oop, Barfiric's still there. Yep. Yeah, so they don't do a ton of damage with this attack. They mostly uh, just do torpor, as you can see. And then their regular attack does a little more damage, but not too much. There we go. Scorpion down. Um, actually, it's getting dark again. There we go. Hey, there's the unicorn poop. Ninja, where are you? Ninja. Ninja, come back. I have unicorn residue for you. Come here. Uh, I'm actually going to drop it. Hopefully he sees it here. I think, uh, yep, we got a couple. There you go. Oh, man, I love the rear that they do when you get on. It's pretty amazing. Awesome. Glad we could get some uh, unicorn residue for a friend there. Um... Lakeisha says, I have level 180 Unicorn and a level 200 Equus. Congrats, that is amazing. Uh, that's a really, that's some really good luck on the Unicorn and the Equus, because I have mostly low-level Unicorns and a relatively low-level Equus as well. My Equus was level 75, I believe. Yeah, and now it's like 79 because I messed up the taming. It's great. I was trying to do the ride method, and it doesn't work super well on mobile. Come here, Burferic. Um, here we go. Let's run over this way and around the pond back up to our base. Uh, Ema says, I found equus everywhere in Redwood Swamp, Obelisk, and Volcano. Ema, you are lucky for sure. Uh, Blue Alex says, I love you for eternity. Oh, thank you, Blue Alex. Very appreciated. I'm glad that you, uh, enjoy what we do here on the channel. Um... Rowena, where can you find the Equus? You can find the Equus, um, there's a pretty specific pattern that you can run. 
Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's run up this way. So, um, let me think here. The best pattern is definitely Smuggler's Pass down towards the Lava Cave if you follow the river down to that little peninsula on the right-hand side of the map. Um, or along the north side of the Redwoods. Those are the easy places to find it. And you can also find them just north of the Red Obelisk. I have the easiest time finding them in Smuggler's Pass, which is like just over that way above Green Obelisk. Um, there's a little river area you can see that's pretty good for it. It's a little bit hard to tell. Um, yeah, sadly. Uh, yeah, anyone who's on the server right now, I'm getting this in the in-game chat, guys, is allowed to come and check out the unicorns. For sure, because they're so cute. How could you not? Eh, I'll get my two unicorns there together if... Can you move? Are you stuck? I can't move. Why can't I move? Uh... What? Uh, follow me. Follow me. Rokar, come here. I forgot he was following me. All right. Things are getting messy. Things are getting messy. There we go. Rainbow's good now. I still can't move. Why can't we move? What the heck? All he can do is jump. He can't attack. Uh, no, there he goes. He can't buck. He can't, he can't move. I don't know why I can't move this horse, but, um... Bugs. I love bugs. Bugs are good. Bugs are happy. All the bugs. Come here, Rainbow. Come chill with me. Come here. There you go. That was too much. That was really too much. Nope, I still can't move him. This is great. I love bugs. Alright, I really hope that this unicorn isn't broken. Because that would make me cry. I would honestly cry. There we go. So they're stopped. So we have a couple of unicorns. We have our Equus. Uh, we have our little Equus baby here, Christmas Donkey, uh, who is still munching away on those berries. So she is absolutely fine. But I'm going to give her extra because I don't want her to starve. She's too cute. The baby horse is too cute. There we go. Perfect. Um, all right. Missed a few things in the chat there, guys. I apologize. So, Mystic and Fortnite says, Iguana, could you tell what server you are on and type? Uh, I absolutely can. The server is called Toast Kingdom. I'll type that into the chat now. Um, it is a Patreon-only server, so it is password-protected. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Um, so... Just be aware, you will have to become a Patreon if you want to play on this server, but I do have some free servers available for people to play on. Uh, just type Iguana in the unofficial servers list on the app, and you will see my three servers come up. I do share one with Routrine that is a PBX server, and then I have two others that are exclusively mine. Um, uh, one place says name it. Yes, for you're right, I forgot to name it. Uh, Right now its name is Maricor, but we are going to name this one My Little Pony just for Shuji Plays. It is pretty great. My Little Pony. I like that name. <laughs> there you go. My Little Pony just for Shuji Plays. Uh, and it is little. It's got like the lowest level. It's so cute. Uh, Pixie Mini, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the channel. I do hope you're enjoying. Um, James says you have to force crash it because it's an Equus Unicorn Glitch. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, unfortunately. Let's uh, land Barfuric here. Okay. Okay, you're actually following my little pony, so I'm gonna get you to follow me. And then stop. There we go. Barfuric is landed. Um, yeah, I definitely could relog and fix that, but eh, I don't know if I want to. I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, Serene says, you are my favorite YouTuber of ARC. Oh, thank you, Serene. That is very appreciated. Uh, all right, there we go. 
Rohit says, read Donald's message. Guys, say, read Donald's message. If you want Iguana to jump off Volcano with Unicorn and have a ginormous rainbow trail and jump off the Unicorn before landing so she doesn't die. We can try, but if I accidentally kill my little pony, I will be upset. Uh, we can do that, though. We'll do that. We're going to run over, run up the Volcano on the Unicorn. This is going to be insane, guys. This is going to be really tricky to do. Actually, wait. Do I even have a collar on me or something? I don't. Um, I have a bow tie. That only increases attack speed. Guys, we're going to buy another gold collar because every single one of my unicorns needs to have a gold collar. That's just got to be a thing. And I don't have enough on me right now. There we go. Uh, we're also going to level it up. And I think what we're going to level up is actually probably movement speed. Yep, movement speed. Because I want this one to be fast. I don't care too much about anything else. Fast is going to be key. Oh yeah, much better already. We're so quick. I love it. I love this very much. Uh, how many unicorns can you have in single player? Uh, Wise Mation, you can get uh, one unicorn on the map at a time. But you can tame as many unicorns as you can find. As you have tame slots. So if you have 60 tame slots because you have a primal pass... You can get 60 unicorns. That is absolutely feasible. Um, tricky, perhaps, but you can do it. Hi, Rex. I'm going to just jump right past you. Uh, yeah, we're going to do... We're going to jump off the volcano with a unicorn, guys, because I want a giant rainbow on the map. It needs to be a thing. I actually really like that idea. So we're going to run our way down to the volcano. Um, and then up it. And we're going to try to avoid danger, because I don't want to die. <laughs> We might have to re-log once we get up there. Oh my gosh. Probably would be easier to carry the unicorn up there, but uh, that would be less fun as well. So, we're going to do the long run. Oop, oop. Oh no, we're stuck. I bet you could die a unicorn. I actually haven't tried that yet. I'm sure you could use potent dust to uh, dye a unicorn a different color, which would be kind of fun. Um... <laughs> How much longer am I going to stream? Uh, I'm probably going to stream for maybe about another half hour. This this volcano thing might be the last stunt we do, and then I'll probably run back to base. Uh, so we'll be streaming through all of that. But if you guys have any questions or anything, you can definitely start leaving those in the chat now. Um, yeah, because I'm happy to answer them while I'm just running over to the volcano. Pretty awesome. Uh, Venkis, hey, how's it going? Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. I am doing really well, Venkis. We tamed a unicorn. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It was level 15, and it cost 68 amber to revive. So I'm a little salty, but it's still really cool, and I'm happy. And we're going to go jump it off the volcano, because it has this beautiful rainbow jump. See? It's amazing. I love it. I love it so, so much. I need all the unicorns now. <laughs> I think that's just my new life goal is to tame literally every unicorn I can find forever. Um, Jack says, can you revive her? Uh, can you revive a unicorn? Yes. Oh, I could actually revive this unicorn if it died for sure. I probably would too, even if it's not like the uh, highest level. Definitely would do because unicorns are too good to let die in my opinion. All right. It's a long run, but we're getting there. Whoop. Oh, hey. Hello. Let's go ahead and wave. Welcome to the stream. Um, all right. We're headed towards the volcano. We should be up there pretty soon now. Um, <laughs> Ray says, what is a mod? A mod is someone who moderates the chat for me and makes sure that people aren't posting really uh, nasty things on there, which is pretty great. Uh, Venkis, thank you so, so much for the super chat. He says, I guess we can eat unicorn poop. You can eat regular poop too. It just, uh, poisons you a little. In this case, uh, eating unicorn poop actually, um, it gives you a hallucination effect. It's really cool. You should definitely try it if you can get one of these tamed up. And thank you again for the super chat, Venkis. Very appreciated. 
Oh my heck. Today has been a good day for the Super Chats, so thank you so much to everyone who has donated today. Makes a big difference, keeps the channel running. You are all super appreciated. Alright. Uh, getting a little bit stuck here. Ooh, all the metal. All the metal I don't need. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. We're going to have to try to run around like the side of the volcano to get all the way up here, I think. Because the actual path is over on the other backside there. We can run quite a ways up this way, but then we're eventually going to hit an area we can't climb. Ugh. Yes, there is the path. We got it. Eh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Beautiful. We're doing it. Um, how many unicorns can you have in single player? Uh, I think I already answered that one. Uh, you can have as many as you have tame slots. Uh, only one spawns on the map at a time, but if you want to keep taming them, you can absolutely keep taming them. Oh no. Did I lose the path? I did. I think I'm silly. There it is. I found it. I found it. We're good. We're good. I got it. We'll trot our way up this little path here. Very cutely. Um, <laughs> Rutrine says, I'm a mod. Moderately okay dude. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Jack says, can you tame an ala? Um, do you mean an alpha? Uh, unfortunately, alphas aren't tameable. So I cannot do that, sadly. Alright, let's get up here. My character is hungry, so I will probably have to eat before we go up there. Let's, uh, whoop, let's get over to this side of the volcano. Run up the edge here, and then we'll pick a nice area to jump off. Let's go a little higher. I want to go, like, up there. It's my typical jumping off side is to jump towards the redwoods. It's a pretty good area to jump off of. I like that. I like that a lot. We'll jump off that way, back towards base. Uh, before I do that, though, I am going to eat some stuff, and I am going to take the implant just in case we smash and die. I really don't want um, our unicorn here to die. And, oh, you know what, guys? This is actually a good time. I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Um, I do have an aerial symbiote, so just in case we jump off a little too early, uh, we'll float to the ground instead of dying. It acts as kind of a parachute. This was also added in the last... Um, what is it called? This was added in the last thing. Oh no, my unicorn's about to die. Oh, heck, I forgot about food. There you go. You have carrots. Don't die. Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you for reminding me. Hey, we gotta send it Rex Saddle. Heck. Alright. Unicorn's okay. I can actually eat these flowers now that I think about it. So I'm okay. I'm going to go ahead and give the unicorn all of these carrots because we do have a ton that we're growing. And I really don't want the unicorn to die. I'm going to let it eat a little bit. <laughs> that was really close for it to start starving. Thank you, chat, for screaming at me. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Mystic says, could you go on a server like Prime PvX or Fats Peak PvE? Um, I typically only play on my servers because I don't really have time to play on other servers. Uh, there are very few circumstances in which I would go on other people's servers. So if I'm not hosting them, I probably won't go on them. Mostly for time reasons. So I do apologize for that, guys. <laughs> Um, do a few caves with it. Pixie, that would actually be really fun. We could probably fit this thing into the central cave. That would be pretty good. And now we have this Mega Neuro wingsuit, which is pretty good. Uh, Castile is asking how rare the unicorns are. They are extremely rare. You can only find one on the map at a time. Uh, but then once you've found that one and tamed it, a new one will come up. So it's pretty good. Jax, I think I meant update, yeah. And Ray, yes, you did try to tell me. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, Griffin taming level. Abdullah, uh, you need to be level 85. Um, is this here? Wait. Oh, no. Whoop. I forgot. I'm wearing that. Oh, do you have berries or something? That would be awesome for the unicorn. Oh, a bandana. Oh, thank you. Oh, heck. 
Castillo, thank you. You're awesome. Got a fancy little bandana. It's super cute. Oh my goodness. It looks adorable. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and do this, guys. We are going to jump off of the volcano now. I'm so excited. Jack says, can you breed a griffin? Yes, we actually have griffins that I've bred. Here we go. Alright. Longest rainbow trail ever. I love it. I love it so, so much. Uh, we're getting awfully close. Okay, bailing. I don't want to lose the unicorn. Alright. And now we are actually floating with our new aerial symbiote. I love. I love it very much. That worked out extremely well. We're going to do it again. I need to get some speed first. Jumping straight up and down doesn't work. Oh no, we're glitched. No, we can't move. All right, guys. I'm going to have to re-log. Otherwise, this isn't going to get uh, fixed. And Sam took some screenshots. Awesome, Sam. You're definitely going to have to uh, send those to me. Heck. Okay. I'm going to re-log real quick, guys. I'm going to put up the Be Right Back screen. I'm still here. I'm just trying to fix all of the bugs. Because buggy game. Buggy game. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, super successful landing. I'm super excited by that. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, I should have someone pick me up on a Cats with the Unicorn Retreat. Oh, does it make it while you're being picked up? If that's so, then definitely someone needs to pick me up with a Cats. That would be amazing. I want to try that for sure. <laughs> can you breed unicorns? Jack, yes, you absolutely can breed unicorns. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a female unicorn right now. I only have a male. I have two male unicorns. There we go. I'm back. Wait, where's my unicorn? Oh, it's up there. I fell down the hill. I have two male unicorns, so I can't breed one right now, sadly. Um, but it will be a thing in the future for sure. Look at that amazing jump. Oh my goodness. I love it so, so much. All right, we're getting close. All right. And I love this aerial symbiote. It is amazing. Our Giga Gang. Uh, oh, Castillo, yeah. If you want to grab your cats, that would be amazing. You should definitely grab that. I'll hang here. I'll hang here and just uh, kick out with the uh, unicorn a little more. Super awesome. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. You don't think the horse takes fall damage when jumped from a high place? Uh, Adrian, they take reduced fall damage for sure, but they do take fall damage if you fall from a big height like I just did from the volcano. That would definitely have done some damage. I have actually damaged my other unicorn by jumping um, from a high height with it as well. Uh, Sush one place says Iguana Gaming, I love pie. Do you? I like apple pie, but I'm actually not a huge fan of pie in general. I much prefer toast. Uh, can you tame unicorns with carrots, or is it griffin kibble only? I, Roy, I have not actually tried carrots. I know that griffin kibble is far more effective than carrots on these guys. Um, yeah, as far as I know, I think you do need griffin kibble. Eh, there we go. I loved a unicorn. It's so pretty. It really is. Let's gotta, like, take a good look at it. Let's get a little space. It's glitched into the ground, but it's pretty. Alright. I'm gonna hang in this area. I am waiting for someone to come back with a cats so that we can uh, do the cool carry. I bet I bet it has like a huge rainbow trail when you get carried with that. Uh, Jack says, can you tame more griffins? I actually am breeding griffins right now for mutations, and I have quite a few eggs stored up, and I plan on getting even more uh, in the near futures. So we are... Definitely going to have that be a thing. We're going to have mutated griffins, and it's going to be awesome. I love the equus, guys. It is beautiful. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bye, Sour Pineapple. Thank you so, so much for coming out tonight. Game on, and Merry Christmas. Oh, my goodness. 
Muhammad Ali, I'm actually planning on taming a Titan as a celebration video for my 20k subs. Um, so that should actually be coming out pretty soon. I just need to get the saddle made up and then we will be doing that. It'll be good. Um, <laughs> Lady Starlight says that's beautiful, isn't it? What server are you on? What server are you on? Please reply. Rick Reyes, I am on Toast Kingdom. It is a Patreon-only server, so it is password-protected. But um, that being said, you can join one of my free servers, which I also have available. Um, so those are a thing. Uh, Sam has posted the screenshots. Thank you so much. I am definitely going to uh, definitely going to take a look at those. I'm excited to see how they turned out. Uh, Rad says at Routrine. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's not for me. Abby says, hi, Iguana. I'm from Indonesia. Hello. Welcome. Heck, Indonesia. That's so far. All right. Pick me up, Castillo. You can do it, I believe. Pick me up. Yes. No, it doesn't do the rainbow effect. I'm so sad. You can drop me from a high height, though. I bet that would be pretty cool. Oh, it's not doing the rainbow. I thought it would do the rainbow. <laughs> I really thought it would do the rainbow. Oh, there we go. Kind of. It's just like a giant vertical rainbow. That's pretty great. All right. Man, this aerial symbiote's really handy for not uh, getting myself killed. Sad day, but thank you, Castillo, for trying. Um, awesome. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and run back to base, guys. I do think that we're getting close to the end of the stream here. We've been streaming for quite a while. So probably will need to take, um, take off soon-ish. All right, let's run back down towards the beach. And we're going to get our way down here. I would be so excited if we ran into an equus on the way. Cannot lie. I'm also going to grab some berries while I'm out. I don't want the unicorn to starve to death. That would be bad. That would be real bad. Look at all these bushes we can we can destroy here. It's great. Perfect. Eat. Eat. Eat everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, DB says, Iguana, I tamed a stego. Congrats, DB. Those are awesome. Serene, thank you so much for coming out and watching tonight. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Jack says, what if the uni jumps and then the cats will catch? Maybe that would do it. Maybe that would do it. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to have to experiment, but I'll probably need to get, like, someone who can uh, spend some time experimenting with me before I figure that out. As is. This is pretty great. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it so, so much. It's great. Uh, okay, we have some aloes. Aloes are pretty sketchy people. Let's not. We don't have a lot of health. This unicorn only has about 300 health, so I'm pretty sure we want to avoid danger as much as possible and just keep running. Um, how do I get my inventory the way I have it? Uh, fear. We can definitely go over that. Um, Routrine, do I want to help with your PVX event after the stream? Base raid event with a stone base. Ooh, Routrine, actually, that would be really cool. Um... Yeah, actually, I do kind of want to help. Even if I can't do too much on the actual stream, uh, I do want to, like, come in and hang out and moderate your chat for sure. So I'll be there. Um, do I know that you can get a Titan saddle by doing a Giga Hunt Pursuit? Uh, yes, I did. I am a long ways from getting the Giga Hunt Pursuit, and we're frozen. We're very frozen. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. Um... What do I have on my back? That is a Meganura. Um, it's called the Aerial Symbiote. It basically is a parachute that you wear in your shield slot. So it sticks to your back. And it grabs you. And it flutters. And it's a little creepy. But it's super handy. So whenever you jump, you slowly flutter down. 
Uh, it's really handy. They do break pretty quickly after about, what, like five minutes of flight time. But they're really cool. So it's an archetype you can purchase, um, and then you can make as many as you can find the materials for, which I've actually gone ahead and done because they are super cool, and they're really useful for things like jumping off volcanoes, which I tend to do quite a lot on this server. <laughs> so it's good. Thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, he says, I wish raptors had the pounce ability. Raptors are so underpowered. They should be given a TLC pass. No one cares about them. Everyone ignores them. Oh, Venkis. I half agree with you. I think the, um, hey, a tag, how's it going? I think that the raptors should definitely be given some of the TLC abilities, like the pack bonus and the visual for sure. I do hesitate. Um, about the pounce ability, mostly because on mobile, it would probably be an issue. So if you were to do that on mobile, I have a feeling that it would crash the game for a lot of people because that pounce is a little bit crazy. Um, and it makes one of the most common creatures in the game really difficult to deal with in terms of getting started on ARC. So I do feel a little bit bad um, but I kind of don't want the pounce ability to come to mobile. I kind of wish it would go away on PC as well. But everything else about the Raptor TLC Pass, I absolutely love. That's just my opinion. Um, and yeah, I know a lot of people are would really love to see the pounce ability. That's a Rex. Can we not stop right next to the Rex? That'd be great. Let's run. Eh, don't get stuck in the water. Jump up. You can do it. Oh no, don't get bugged. Don't get bugged. Nope, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. No, there's piranha. There's all sorts of bad things. Swim to safety. We can do it. Okay, we're away. We're away. We're good. We're good. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Night, Julie. Thank you so much for watching today. Um,. Bo, thank you so, so much for the super chat. He says, like Unisub, rainbow poop share, not the toast. <laughs> thank you, Bo, so much for the super chat. And yes, guys, like, sub, and share, but don't share the toast, because the toast is all mine. Um, Let's see here. Embryon Star says, my cousin came by my house, and he wanted to play Ark after the Equus update. He found a unicorn and killed it. I almost choked him to death. <laughs> Umbreon, I can't blame you. Those are so rare. Ugh, that would kill me, honestly. How many Explorer Notes have I found? I actually haven't found very many. Um, I don't spend too much time on those. So, not, not too, too many of them, as you can see. There's a lot that I haven't bothered to go after. Um, I probably should actually start getting a few of those just to round out the collection. That would be fun. Uh, Venkis, thank you so much for the super chat again. He says, I love raptors and I worship raptor Jesus. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, good to know, Venkis. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Rad says, Iguana, I'm going to be your PVX. Awesome, Rad. I cannot wait to see you on there. Bye, Jose. Thank you so much for coming out and watching the stream today. Uh, okay, there's my other, there's my other unicorn. I know, isn't it great? We have two of them, guys. Um, let's see. <laughs> Jose says, well, I'm asleep, so bye. I love the stream, and congrats on the subs. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank you for watching tonight. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Good night, Adrian. All right, looks like we are actually chilling out here, guys. So um, definitely going to sign off here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and get a little space so we can see the unicorn a little better. All right, guys. So, um, yeah. Any last questions? I think we're going to end off here in the next couple of minutes, and then I'm going to hop over and help Retrain with her PVX stream because that's definitely got to be one. Haley says, can you die one? I haven't tried that out. I'm definitely going to. Uh, don't worry. That will be a thing. We'll probably do a video on that, actually. Um... <laughs> Rad says, Iguana, I'm Wyatt, number 27, by the way. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for you. Unicorn poop is toast. Uh, Rowena, yes, unicorn poop goes great on toast. It's not toast itself. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to share. Um, yes, yeah, Cybernova, I did. 
<laughs> Found a unicorn and tamed it. Uh, we actually got an implant from one of the patrons. Uh, bye, Ray. Bye, Ray. Thank you so much for coming out. Master Neko says, Iguana, call me. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Jack says, you've become greedy when it comes to toast. Iguanas are greedy. What can I say? I love the toast. It's a thing. Um, can you put a saddle in the uni? Uh, Mohammed, yes, actually, I believe you can. I'll actually go ahead and check that out real quick. Uh, I do have a saddle here. So we accidentally finished the Equus quest, and I didn't mean to. But um, they should be able to wear saddles, as far as I know. Yep. Just like an Equus, you can put a saddle on a unicorn. It kind of makes them look less pretty, in my opinion, but it does work. Um, let's go ahead and unequip this. I'm going to put it back on the other Equus. Just because the unicorns look so good without them, I almost never want to put a saddle on them ever. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, alright. Hop back up here. Cool. Um, bye Nacho. Yeah, we'll definitely talk soon. And Sush One Plays says, see you next stream. Um, and by the way, I totally didn't take your toast. Good, Sujuan, you better not have. Um, ooh, Bo, you found Otto McOtterson tamed for 111. Congrats, Bo. Jack says, do another stream tomorrow, please, if you're free. Make it a two-part stream, but on the public server. Uh, possibly, Jax, possibly. That might be a thing. I've been away for a while, so I would actually love to get a lot of content out in the next few days, for sure. Uh Fear Xanity says, are all your tribe mates your friends in real life? Well, I really only have one uh, or two tribe mates, so yes, they are. Uh, all friends in real life, actually, by coincidence. Um, Vankus, thank you so, so much for the super chat. He says, like and subscribe. Yes, thank you, Vankus, for reminding people. Please like and subscribe before you leave the stream here today. It is super appreciated. <laughs> Fierce Wolf says, I'll donate all my toast to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Fierce Wolf. Very appreciated. All right, guys. I love you all so, so much. And I am going to catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana. <laughs>